Hey, hey everyone. How are we doing tonight? Are you ready for a, a fun tutorial Tuesday? So I'm kind of nervous about this one, but I want to say sorry that I was a little late. You know, again with this new position, I kind of never know <laughs> when I'm going to get off from work. So it's just, oh, it's a lot to transfer in here too. So I hope you can all hear me okay. Let me get my chat pulled up here. All right. How is everyone doing tonight? Are we doing good? Everyone's happy? Okay. So I'm a little bit nervous about this one only because this is gonna be the first live I do where I'm making one of my intricate canes. <laughs> So just keep in mind up front, sometimes intricate canes <laughs> don't come out the way you planned, right? So I might be like, you know, a clay cane queen, but just remember <laughs> the cool part about doing the premieres is I could edit out bad things. This is all live. So I figured if it comes out screwed up, you all will see. Everyone gets all screwed up. Okay, so I'm going to say hi to everyone real quick. But first, I'm going to get out a couple of colors. So just up front, um, the only kind of clay I use, as most of you probably know, is Sculpey Primo. That is my absolute favorite kind of cane, and I'll never go back. Got that right. So today we are going to be making a koala cane. So I have my black Primo here and I'm going to mix it with some white because koalas are gray, right? <laughs> oh gosh, it's been one heck of a day. Okay, I'm just going to get off a chunk of white. So. For those of you, hold on, let me cut this real quick. For those of you that don't know, a cane is basically where you create some kind of image or character or a masterpiece and you make it about an inch thick, okay? And then you just basically take it apart, put it back together, you add the different aspects of what you're trying to make and then you do a filler like on the outside. I'm going to try to make this big because the koala cane is very requested or the koala pins. And then you reduce it down to where you can make multiple slices of the image. So you'll kind of see what that looks like as I go here. So if you're new to the channel here, what's up y'all? What's up? I am Crashly and my biggest thing is I make polymer clay diamond painting pens and my brother Jeremy got me kind of hooked on polymer clay but I kind of went off on my own to do the caning so I love making canes it's kind of my thing so I did put some links in the description if you're interested in trying out polymer clay I put some recommended links down there I have an Amazon affiliate program, so I do get a tiny itsy bitsy commission if you use my links to buy your stuff. Just letting you know. So now I just have to condition each color. So while I do that and warm up my clay, I'm just going to scroll to the top here and say hi to everyone. Hello, Robert. I swear you really need a trophy or something for always being first. And again, y'all, I say I'm conditioning my clay, which is just working it, warming it up conditioning, making it warm, you know? <laughs> and I'm gonna mix the white with a little bit of black to make my gray. Aiden, hi buddy. Tell Zaki Poo I said hi. So if you guys don't remember, Aiden is Zach, my son Zachary. Aiden is his brother. So he's not my stepson or anything. He's my son's dad's other son but we're all really close. Again, it's like one big, happy, strange family. <laughs> she changed the wait time I was waiting and was very excited. Oh, you know, Aiden, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I, I, I thought I would be ready. You know how it goes, okay? 
Uh, let's see. What are you guys doing, Aiden Michael? Uh, let's see. Thank you, Odd. Always in with the links. Hi, Brian. Rivka, hi. Uh, let's see. Jill, welcome. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Who else have we got? Is that everyone? Odd with the links again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Ginger's Hobby Corner. Welcome. Oh, she said she has to go because dinner is ready. Oh, Kerwin, yep, he was late getting home. So that was like half of the reason. Yup. Allie Cheer, I don't think I've seen you in here before. Maybe I have, though, I don't know. But welcome. I see your, your picture is a Roblox character. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Don Sherry, welcome. Christina Bartelson, welcome, welcome. Uh, did I get everyone? My gosh. Power of the Unicorn with the sparkly horn. Yes. Crocheting knitting. Welcome, welcome. Okay. You know what? I'm scrolling to the bottom because it's taking me forever. Welcome, Mickey. If I missed you, then like, hey. Hi, Shelly Bird. Welcome. You play Roblox? Oh my gosh, I love Roblox. My kids love it too. We play that hide and seek game all the time. And oh my gosh, my kids are obsessed with the piggy games. Like where the piggy literally comes and tries to kill you. It's so weird. Aiden plays it too. It's me, Allie. Like Allie, Allie, like, why do you have so many YouTube accounts if it's the Allie I'm thinking of? Hi, Angie. All right, Donna Lee Little. That's so weird. My mother's name is Donna Lee Tinker. So it's so funny. Did you get a labeler yet? I did, it's in the other room. I specifically haven't opened it because Kerwin demands there be an unboxing for it. So <laughs> so I'm just waiting to open it and do an unboxing for a label maker. It does look really fancy. I would go get it, but it's way over there. Kerwin, if you're watching, you're welcome to come in here and get it, it's across the room. But it looks really fancy. Okay, I'm just gonna mix a little bit of this black with this white. I'm gonna kind of cut this in half because it freaks me out. So when you make gray, you don't want to like overdo the black or you'll get this really ugly dark gray. Um, so I'm just gonna put it in the middle there and just kind of keep conditioning it. It's me, y'all. Okay, fine, it's Allie, everyone. I agree with him. <laughs> well, Aiden is like my YouTube manager, I guess. <laughs> Oh gosh, did you guys see that I hit 900 subscribers? You guys should have seen my happy dance, you know? But I never count, like, it, like if I hit the 100 mile mark of something, like 800, 600, whatever, I never count it until I get to, like, 05, right? So for 900, I don't really count it until I hit 905 because you always get you know, those one or two stragglers, but 900 is a little bit different because I'm like so close to my goal. I almost cried, man. I really did. So now I'm just still kind of conditioning it, working in that black there. I'll probably start running it through my pasta machine. Oh, he got the label maker. Let me see. Okay, quick sneak peek. This is the label maker he got me. It's like outrageously fancy and it comes with all these doodads, you know, and this diaper thing. It says easy labeling, but I don't know. That's a lot of buttons. I don't know. Here you go, Kirby. That's the one we're going to do. You should show us your happy dance. You know what? I've been trying to think of what I will do once I hit a thousand. So if you want, if nobody challenges me to something, I thought maybe the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> I will, I will come on here, Christy, just for you and do a happy dance on a live stream or a video, whatever. Where was Kerwin with the camera? <laughs> My luck, he probably had one hidden and I will see it later on in life. So now I just rolled this through the pasta machine, hoping to get that black worked and mixed faster. Kirby! I'm late again. I'm doing the same thing as you. Well, not exactly the same thing. You're not that late. All we, all we did was condition clay. And we took a big chunk of white with a little bit of black. And we're just mixing to make gray. 
for the koala yeah I made the koala pins once I don't know if you all saw it at my store I have an Etsy shop too but I had found an extra one and I posted no I found two and I posted both and both koala pins sold within 10 minutes of being posted and then I got at least three or four messages on Etsy are the koala pins coming back <laughs> so I was like okay I was just gonna go ahead and remake the cane but then I was like maybe you guys would like to see me do it in a live stream uh, let's see I've got someone in gray what hi frog pond welcome Valerie hey my husband joined us today he is great at sculpting who's your husband Val did I miss him Mr. Val please stand up please stand up will the real Mr. Val please stand up just kidding <laughs> oh yeah Robert I remember the Star Wars guy oh gosh I do remember oh that's amazing I totally remember him he is awesome like I don't know you always have your friends husbands that you think are awesome he's like one of those husband of friends that I think is awesome the uncrafty crafter man I like her too she's relatively new coming around but like oh my gosh you're one of the ones I love too I love all of you you're just awesome um let me see crashes Etsy yes and if you go to my Etsy shop you'll see it's a little it's a little naked right <laughs> So I'm working very, very hard to get it restocked. But this time around, I will not be posting all the pens all at once. Okay, because then I go through these dry spells where nothing gets posted in so long. Because I do, you know, custom pen orders in between. Hi, Jenny Jen! Jen Jen! Okay, so this did not turn out <laughs> dark enough. Like, it's not quite mixed all the way but I can kind of tell it's not very gray so I'm probably going to be adding in some more white here Dr. Dre is in my basement I'm telling your dad I'm just kidding <laughs> okay Crashly you make this look so easy girl all I did was put some clay through a pasta machine you crazy girl Camp Bear hi uh so you should drink straight mustard. That sounds awful. Mm. Bristow PA right above Philly. Woo! I'm waiting for more pigment pens. Oh yeah, Aud, do you, do you want to do that for another tutorial Tuesday? Did you guys like that? Because that's, <clears throat> that's another thing. Like if you're new, these tutorial Tuesdays used to always be a premiere which is basically a, a video that I had to record and edit and then instead of just posting it public it I had to schedule it to post and then we all kind of watch together and so that was just way too much of a strain with all the editing that's when I changed it to lives but like at this point like with this cane specifically I've been sitting here mixing this clay for how long now and usually if I was, you know, recording a video and editing it, I would totally speed this part up because it's not, it's not really interesting. So I don't know. I just don't want to bore everyone to death. Oh, geez. It's starting to look like a crater. I can't even color in the lines, let alone make a clay pen. Angie, anybody can literally make a clay pen. Right, Kari? Like you can just marble two colors of clay together make it into a sheet and create an awesome pen like I just I just am extra <laughs> and I really really enjoy making canes like that's my favorite thing to make but you know Jeremy brother Jeremy is really the clay OG without him I would have never even discovered it okay you guys got it we will do another live with the pigment powders we can do textured pens or just experiment with them because I like that too doing a live stream while collaborating with you guys like with ideas and stuff I think is fun I'm a big NASCAR fan well that's cool hi Terry Lynn 
other textures too. I did get another texture pack actually that I've been wanting to try. So that would be perfect. Maybe for next week. Um, me too, Robert. Guess what hubby is watching? What is it? Oh yeah, so Robert, um, Val's husband, guess what I did? Remember how I told you that I was watching the Star Wars marathon, right? But I didn't, I didn't quite get too interested in the season or the the movies after. Uh, I don't know what like the original series, like the movies that after Darth Vader died and you know Rey came into play. I just I wasn't as interested as I was. Well, I finished all the movies and I gotta say. They're really good. So if you guys are out there ever like, oh, Star Wars is nerdy and lame. It's actually a, a really good story and I, I take it all back, okay? It's really, really good. Although I thought it was really stupid when freaking Kylo Ren decided to be good and then he died just like Darth Vader. Like, I'm gonna be on the dark side for so long and then I'm randomly gonna get a change of heart and be good. But as soon as I decide to be good, I'm gonna die. Like, no wonder you've been bad or in, you know, the dark side for so long because as soon as you come to the good side, you're gonna die. It's so stupid. Oh, okay, so how do we think, what do we think about this gray for a koala? I'm kind of thinking it's still too light. Hi Mickey! I don't know if I said hi to you, but hey. Spoiler alert. Yeah, go ahead, okay. Of course, I mean, it's it's very predictable though. I mean, you got a bad guy, he turns good, and then, although I didn't ex expect him to freaking die. That was annoying. Right now, I am literally googling pictures of cartoon koalas to see if my gray is too light or not, or just to get an idea. Oh gosh, next week I'll get to watch Doctor Who. Ooh, is Doctor Who, Who on any like streaming services? Cause that's my thing, I can't, I need to be able to binge, that's my thing. All these koalas look like they're darker. Send me birthday present ideas. Hey, Aiden, that's my mom, if you didn't remember. I don't know if you called her Mima, but mom, that's Sean's other son, Zach's brother, Aiden. Oh, did you just say you like Star Wars? Christy, what happens in Crashly's live chat stays in Crashly's live chat. And we can be sarcastic and say The Phantom Menace is a timeless classic. Okay. Now Kerwin's trying to get me to watch that freaking show, but he put it on and I really wasn't that interested. Uh, so did you guys ever even tell me if you guys think... I think that this is too light. Don't you think this is too light? Hmm. I'm trying to decide. I think that I'll put... a tiny bit more black in it just because you have to think we're gonna be making a big koala head chunk right and then we're gonna be reducing it down so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add a little bit more Doctor Who can be streamed on Hulu in M4U free what's M4U free is that a thing so I'm just tearing the black into little pieces so when I go to mix it, it happens faster. The Mandalorian, that's what it is. Okay. Aiden, why do you keep saying light daver? What is light daver? Christy, stop it! I do like Star Wars though. <laughs> like, I honestly feel bad for prejudging it, like thinking, oh my god, it's so nerdy. Because it really is good and like the most nerdy part of it is like one of my favorite parts <laughs> is the music that sounds so stupid but like it just really hits the whole like every scene spot on all the music does it's it's just awesome who do you go to for nascar or wait who do you go for in nascar oh geez 
I don't, I don't watch NASCAR. I think that's really boring. That's just me though. I also thought Star Wars was boring, so what can I say? Purple rain! Kerwin, my husband and I make a Mandalorian costume. Oh my gosh, Val. I have got to see a picture of that, like, as soon as possible, please. So Kerwin, if you don't remember, Robert and Val were the ones <laughs> really playing the Star Wars trivia with us during whatever Sunday social that was. I don't remember how long ago that was. Uh, I just finished my Mandalorian armor for, oh yeah, see, they're already bonded, Val. I can totally see us making a road trip to wherever you are, Pennsylvania, yeah. And me and Val are gonna go hang out. Diamond paint, I will force her into playing with clay. And then our boys will just go talk Star Wars and do weird dude stuff, you know, whatever they do. I'm using my data and now I can't watch anything on my fire stick. Oh, Angie, that is a sad day. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that this is boring, you guys. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I haven't done one of these intricate canes as a live yet. Because I'm sure you all are very bored. I'm used to being able to speed this part up. Match the Wear is good. The original six episodes. He put it on and I think by that time I was just like so Star Wars out. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like NASCAR is their gonna make left turn they're gonna make another left turn oh wait another left card that's exactly how I feel like you're just watching somebody drive in circles like my god that just doesn't sound very entertaining to me I like crashes though yeah it's just like hockey I don't really find hockey that interesting Aiden don't tell your dad but I think watching the hockey players get into fights is kind of interesting <laughs> but them hitting a puck around oh no I'm good Either NASCAR or four screen slit Corona. Anyway, Donald Taker looking for ideas for her birthday present. Oh, mom, you, you realize you did just give out your personal email on YouTube, right? So what that means is everyone can email my mother funny cat emails or memes. Don't prank her. She's very fragile. So don't freak her out. But yeah, you can spam her. You don't, that's crazy, mom. But seriously, I'm not hard to shop for for birthdays. All I need is your love and support and that's present enough for me. Who am I kidding? You can write me a check, please. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was hooked on IO2 and oh, that Brandon was so hot. I named my son after him and my son was upset about it. Oh, geez. I am listening while diamond painting too. Okay. So I think this gray looks quite a bit better, don't you? Okay, let me just move this down. Okay, so this is gonna be the color of the koala. So now we basically wanna take this flat sheet and we want to make it into a ball, like the shape of the koala head. So I'm just gonna fold it in half and kinda try to bunch it up and with me doing it this way, I'm just avoiding air bubbles in the middle. So that's the only reason why I'm folding it to then in turn roll it up. Because you do not want air bubbles in polymer clay. Have you seen Baby Yoda? I've seen pictures of Baby Yoda. Oh, and also everyone, again, this is my very first clay cane live. So I'm gonna try not to miss chat, <laughs> but you all know me. I can only concentrate on so many things at one time. So if you say something and I happen to look past it, feel free to repost it. If it's general questions, my moderators are very, very knowledgeable. I'm sure they can help with most of that. But if it's a question for me or a comment that you want me to see, just repost. Pretty please. That would help me out a lot. Uh, we need a Quidditch link. <laughs> okay, so you just need cleansing period. All right, have you watched? All of the floor is lava. Yeah, all the four episodes. Or <laughs> four, four, I can't remember. There's not a lot of episodes there. But yeah, we did. Me and Zach actually binged that, my son. Told you, Valerie. Ew, David. Oh my god, don't spam me. Just ideas. <laughs> oh, and what kind of person doesn't like hockey? Look at my account picture. <laughs> okay, so now I just have this big gray ball. 
So again, the, the key of making successful canes is to basically build it. You know, you can, I build from the outside in. And what I mean by that is I make the shape of the head and then I kind of will, will cut out eyes or like stab eyes and shape the eyes once I have the base made. And then I'll put the eyes in. So I build from the outside out. Now, since I'm making a koala, I'm gonna take a pretty decent chunk of this gray and I'm just gonna set it off to the side. And that is because koalas have big ol' ears. All of Crash's links are Amazon links, so just get her an Amazon gift card. That's the right, baby. Pretty much any polymer clay stuff. Ooh, you know what I need, Mom? I need the other <laughs> series of pigment powders, the ones with the green and the yellow. I have series, what do I have? Odd but nice. I think I have series three pigment powders, Pearl X, baby. I want the other series so bad. Um, okay, the YouTube Live is cutting in and out. Am I cutting in and out for anybody else? Um, Kaylee, you may want to try to go out and go back in. I have been asking for rose gold anything or everything for my daughter, Crashly, for six months. Mother, you don't diamond paint. Why would I make you a rose gold diamond painting pen if you don't diamond paint? Just to have it? Because that's weird. I read this in December, so I'm hopeful. Everybody, da, da, da. okay. Is everyone else having extremely hot and humid weather? We are! Okay, so I have this set aside for the ears or any extras I need to fill. This is gonna be my head. So I have it into a ball and I just kind of scraped over any cracks. Okay, I'm trying to keep up with chat too, but it's just not working for me. All right, it's gonna get it into an even ball here. No hamster here. Okay, yeah, so Kaylee, go in and out, probably. No, you don't need it, stop buying. She is right, I don't need it. Jennifer said something to me once, would you rather have this or this or a new craft room? And I'm totally saving to build my craft room. It's gonna be an addition on the house, so it's not gonna be cheap. I'm gonna be working on my ice princess, okay. So I have the ball and I'm gonna kinda squish it in my hands. Cause I want it to be semi-flat, I don't want those cracks. Okay, and again, when you're working with canes, I build from the outside in. So I want it to be thick, because remember, after we build whatever we're going to build, we have to be able to turn it this way and reduce. Okay, so you want to keep it like at least an inch thick if you can, unless you're going to be making you know, a smaller cane, of course, but just from experience, smaller canes, are harder to reduce. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it pretty thick here. All right, so now I just have my little circle here. And it really doesn't have to be perfect because we can reshape it as we go. We're gonna be stabbing holes in it, and <laughs> adding stuff anyway, so. Um, let's see, if you buy one more thing before your birthday, I'm going to sit on you. Jennifer, fine, you do the same thing because I already bought two of your birthday presents and I'm gonna be really, really sad if you end up buying them for yourself or if somebody else does, my gosh. All right, bye Aiden. So happy to look up pigment powders, has to be Pearl X. Pearl X! There's actually a link in the description of this video, but I don't know what series it is. Sorry, you're happy, I already helped me. I have a gift idea. <laughs> okay, mom. All right, so now I'm going to, let's see. Let's try to do the eyes. I'm kind of concerned I didn't grab enough gray. So I'm, I'm gonna do the ears actually. Yeah. Because again, I'm kind of concerned I didn't grab enough gray off the sides here. So when you build from the outside in, we're just adding each element of the koala. So usually how I do that is I'm gonna make the general shape here. Looks like we could probably put either some white or gray on there. That needs to be bigger, eh? And then we have the rounded outside of the ears and then the flat part, which will go on the head. So I'm just kind of trying to get an idea here. 
They need to be much larger. When is your birthday? My birthday is July 17th. It's coming home. The link goes to series one. Oh, good, because you know what? I just looked up pigment powders per Lex and I didn't even think to look to see what series they were. Okay, so that's pretty good because I'll make it, I'll make it wider, right? All right, do you think that we should put pink in the middle of the ears? I kind of think that it would be cute. I already had to return one gift. The label maker, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was Kerwin's fault, he bought it for me. He was playing his clothes off rooms. Okay, I'm cool. Mayhem's in here? Where? Mayhem never gets to come. All right, I'm gonna grab some pink, you all, for the inside of the ears because I just think that would be cute. Ooh, well done. I have a bunch of totes over here of clay colors. Ali says pink. Okay, that's what I was thinking too. Pink would be cute. Oh geez. So I have this pink. It's really dark though. Do I have a lighter pink? Geez, I hope so. All these containers are attached, so I gotta take them all apart to see what I got. Um no, that is not the right kind. I have those pinks, those seem darker too. Oh, hey, look at that. All right, so I'll probably go with this lighter pink. Yes. Agreed. I think that's all that's in there. Yeah, that's darker. Or I have this one. Probably between those, those two there. All right, just a second. Now I gotta stack all these back up. So for the inside of the ears, I have these two colors. Uh, they really don't look that much different. This one has sparkles in it, so like when in doubt, you default to the one with sparkles. That's what I always say. A bit would be cute. I know, right? Mayhem, I need to see the making of the koala, right? <laughs> and Crashly, I don't know how you keep up with chat. I'm not even making an intricate cane and I can't keep up. Girl, I'm barely keeping up. Luckily, I have awesome mods. So if there's like a good question that I need to come back to and answer, they'll be like, Crashly, this person asked this, get it. And then I will. <laughs> so they're very helpful. So I'm gonna use this pink for the inside of the ears. This looks red. Oh, it's totally not red. Well done. I have an idea. So, this, hold on, this is red, and this is, this is pink. Can you tell? <laughs> like, when I'm looking at it, it's, it's totally pink. I can probably make it a little bit lighter by mixing some white in it, if you think that would be better. I think the gift card is a good idea for Ashley's birthday to lace with teeth, although her husband, Kerwin, kind of gave me a good idea, too. Oh, don't be talking, what is it? Now I gotta know. See, I hate when I know I have something coming because then it, it clouds all of my thoughts. What cane are you making, Kari? <laughs> Kari is like a pro at doing those, um, oh, what are they called? Little nail things, the decals. But she makes these awesome backgrounds of her pens and then adds decals. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by mixing in this much white to make this pink lighter because this is going to be for the inside of the koala's ears. And I always make, like when I'm mixing clay or making canes, if I have to do different aspects, <laughs> I do like more than what I think I need always because <laughs> it's always something that you can do with leftovers. But if you're put yourself short, then you're just kind of screwed and you kind of, you kind of have to m try to mix colors the exact same way to get the exact same color and yeah, it's drama. I wanted to name her Kayla, but her father, oh geez. We are working on getting a better camera, but they are in short supply right now. Yeah, they're like triple the cost. But like, I even looked at OBS and it does look kind of red. 
Okay, so again, I just conditioned it, kind of mixed in the white, and now I'm just running it through the pasta machine. No crash, no hints. Oh, brother. Wait, does, does Care Bear know what it is, too? Does everybody know what it is but me? <laughs> I'm making a giraffe cane, a red one. Are you making, like, the giraffe print or an actual giraffe? That would be interesting. That'd be hard to make. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going with her husband Kerwin's idea. It's a secret. Ugh. And you know what? Kerwin's like a vault when it comes to presents too. He doesn't give nothing away. I know none. Giraffe sounds like a complicated cane. I'm wondering if she means like the giraffe print or an actual Giraffe. Giraffe print. Yes. Those are one of my favorite animal print canes to make ever. That and like tiger and zebra stripes are fun too. I really had fun making the rainbow zebra cane. That was so pretty. That's a stress. You need more white. You still think I need more white? Steel? Okay. Okay. I'll add the rest of this white and then it'll be fine okay because I know me mixing clay is probably boring however it's like a gamble because it's like you kind of have to take your time because look how much clay this would be wasting Whoo! you know Kari has like when she goes and buys clay she buys like five of the same color <laughs> oh my god I love that girl so freaking much she showed me her clay stash not too long ago, and I was like, dying girl! It's, <laughs> it makes my clay stash look like chump change. No, I, I don't know what it is. Make it a surprise. Oh, okay, fine. Bye, bunny. Mommy's going to bed. Mom, why are you going to bed at 7.30 at night? Old lady. I'm just kidding. It looks lighter. Yes, I just mixed in the last bit of white. Again, this pink will be what goes on the inside of the koala's ears. So those are typically, you know, a lighter pink, I think. <gasps> Shawana! I'm using my colorful zebra pin now. Oh, yeah, you did get one of those. Ah, oh, yeah, that one was fun to make. Yeah. Me, no me. The zebra stripes, haha. -ha. Oh, yeah, I need to practice on that one. <laughs> oh my god, Crashly, shh. Okay, I will not tell any more of your deep, dark, clay stash s secrets. But, whew, man. Like, if there was ever a worldwide shortage of clay, everyone's going to Kari's house. That's all I'm saying. Night, Mrs. Tinker. Aw. Hey, Shawana, do you need me to sing you your song? I'm happy to do so. <laughs> oh, the Shawana song is so fun. Good night, Mom. My darling little bunny. Oh, Lord. I want to get into PBNs so I'm not getting into clay. Oh, odd. You should get into clay. I bet, like, with your eye for color, you would make some awesome things. Okay, so I have this mix. So now I'm going to do kind of the same thing because I want it to be a rounded. Elizabeth! Hey, I don't remember if I said hey, but hi. Hold on, Kari just said something big. I gotta go see what it is. It's about 50, 52 more packs. Oh my god. <gasps> I don't know why. I don't need any more clay. I guess I'm acting like it's toilet paper. <coughs> it's, it's, <laughs> Kari. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Any idea when the koala pens will be on the shop? Well, I th if I have time on this live, which I probably won't because <laughs> I'm supposed to end it in 30 minutes and yeah, we haven't gotten very far, <laughs> but um, they should be on the shop by this weekend. Um, if you follow me or my Facebook page, um, I'll probably post it there or you can also join Creative Craft Addictions if somebody wants to share that group. Then I will post like a heads up something there. Patreons always get first dibs though. So hopefully with this much koala, I made way too much pink, my bad. With this much koala, I get quite a few out of it. That That's the hopes. 
I'm just going to tear this in half here real quick. Okay. But yeah, hopefully by this weekend, I'm probably going to make up a few of these tonight. And then let Patreons choose, because we have some cover minders too, I think, that we need to post. So we usually leave them on Patreon for about a day or so. And then we post on Etsy whatever's left. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So now I'm just going to put it up to the head here just to get an idea. We kind of need this to be like an oval shape, don't we? Mm. Yeah, so that's probably good. So now when I make slices, I make them as thick as my actual base. And then since it's a koala cane, this is going to be the center of the ear, right? So what I will do is... I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to cut off as much as I will need for each ear or to get two ears out of it. All right, I'm going to trim this side up a little bit. Yep, I made too much pink. Oh, well, pink is one of those colors that like you can use all the time. Uh, I always call my daughter baby girl and some people wear Oh. Hope we don't miss out on the koala pins again. Oh, Jill, you know what? If you want to message me on Etsy or um, I'll try. Oh gosh, I want to say I'll try to remember to message you, but I'm so, ugh, I always say that and I always forget. <laughs> Somebody needs to remind me to remind people. <coughs> okay, so now I have my pink here and I'm going to make both ears at a time because then I know both ears are going to match. So since I want this to go on the side of the koala's head, I'm going to kind of flatten out the bottom and then make sure the top is rounded. And I see that shape I made there. So then essentially that will be the inside of the ear. I gotta keep looking at the picture to make sure my proportions are there. Now, since this will be for both, I'm, this is going to be the bottom of the ear, right? So I don't need gray on the bottom. So what I can do with what I have left here with the gray, I'm going to kind of just bunch it up to make it, eyeball it to be even. Ooh, cover minders. Yeah, there's some good ones too. <laughs> don't koalas usually have white tufts of hair in their ears? Uh, Maybe some koalas, yeah. There's only so many details I can fit into an hour though. <laughs> no, I mean. Okay, so I want the ends of the ear to be thinner than the center. I'm gonna try to like pinch the ends here real quick. Like an ear, you know? Like the top of the ear will be thicker than the sides. And then I'm gonna take, I don't know. Here we go. I'm gonna just take this tool here and kind of round this off. Because again, I want my ears to be semi-symmetrical. Then I should be able to fit this in there and go on about my business. I have a lot of ears left. All right, I think that pink is too big. I don't know. Let's take a gander. Hmm, who thinks that's too much pink? I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, I'll be later. Almost home, sorry Kerwin, no Frosty tonight. Oh my gosh, this is like the first Tuesday in the longest time where Jen didn't get me and Kerwin, or just Kerwin sometimes, cause I don't know what's going on there. Just kidding, <laughs> just kidding everyone. That's okay though, Jen. We win some and we lose some, right? All right, so I just kind of reduced this pink piece. And again, I want it to be as thick as my base. I'm gonna cut this off so I can get a good eyeball of it. So we got that one. And then there. All right, let's see if this proportions a wee bit better. 
Okay, does that match? This side looks bigger. Hold on, y'all. See, this is what I'm telling you. It's not like a speedy process. <laughs> and so I feel bad doing it at a live, you know? <laughs> but you guys are, you guys are fine, right? We're having fun. This is fun. <laughs> okay, so now let's see if this looks better. I will have to trim off some of this gray. Or I can try to smush it a little bit. Let me try to do that instead. Mm. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, so that's a place for me, Angie. Oh, not feeling great today. So no treat. Oh, are you okay? Like you're sick or did you have a like a bad day? Hope you didn't have a bad day. That would make me so sad. Okay, I just want to get that crease out of there. All right, that's better. Okay, now let's see if this looks better. Okay, so we can shape it better, but I'm just kind of more looking at the size. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. We'll just have to spread it out. I need more gray at the top, I think. Sorry to hear that, Dougie Rob. I'm just going to reshape it. Of course, we are having fun. And it shows just how much work and time you put into your pens. Yes. And you know what? Like, especially with my canes, I spend so much time on my canes. Like, I don't know, adding as many details and, you know, really trying to get it the first time as best as I can. Because if you have a good cane, you know, that's like this size and this big around, you can get a lot out of that cane, you know? But like, if you botch it or your proportions are off, then you're just kind of bumming, you know? You're just, you're just kind of stuck with it. What's up, baby? Mm. Why did I put those little spikes up in there? Oh, I think I did, okay. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little bit more of this off. Just in case I need to add something later. Okay, so as far as size, I gotta make sure I'm on target. Okay, that looks good. So now since I want to put the pink in the middle, I'm gonna just try to make a divot and do it this way. Wait, do I have it thick enough? It's one, two, yeah, that's thick enough. So I'm just gonna stick this pen right in the middle there and see if this makes me a better shape. I'm sending you all my pens. Oh, girl, send me all the pens. Do it, do it. Uh, she came last Saturday for wear gloves. Uh-oh. I'm just exhausted. Lots of clients. Oh, girl, I'm sorry. I don't know if I could ever do your job. So I'm sure most of you know, but J. Rob or Jennifer, DP Addiction Adventures is a therapist. So, but she's a special kind of therapist. So, I don't know. She hears lots of sad stories like all day long. And they're just, I've heard a few of them and they're just, they're really, really sad. Like, I don't know if I could do it. But she's a special kind of person. Okay, now where did my. I think that that might be good. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. There we go. And then I'm gonna try to just reduce it. I have to make very careful I don't have any air bubbles in it. All right. So now I just stuck the pink in the gray here and now I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit. Kind of even it out because this is both ears. <laughs> Let's see what it comes out proportion wise. See, that's pretty good. All right. And then we can make these spread out a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Right, right. Then we can round those off more. 
Maybe they need to be bigger. They need to be bigger. Oh, oh, oh. A mask and disinfectant. And if you ever need to vent, I'm around. Oh. I should have done little hair grooves. I didn't think about it. Okay, I'm gonna spread out the pink so it goes down. Okay. Now I'm gonna just cut it in the middle here. Try to eyeball it as best as I can because we need two ears. What was that? Oh, Joe. Okay. One second, need a sip of coffee. Supper will be made in foil packets. Ooh, you know what my mom used to make? She called them Boy Scout treats. And she put like hamburger and, oh gosh, like vegetables. And we used to eat them when we went on the river. And she just put the whole thing on the grill. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so yummy. Okay, let's see if we can assemble this bad boy. Mm, so koala ears are kind of like on the sides, right? I think so. Mm, something like that. Okay. Okay, so this will be the ears. And again, you can, while you're building the cane, you can still kind of manipulate it a little bit. So like it doesn't have to be perfect while you're building it. The key is to get it perfect before you do the filler. <laughs> That's cause like the reducing part is every caner's like ultimate fear. And I'm not going to smooth these down all the way yet because I, I always outline my canes before doing the filler. So it has like a dark line while I reduce it. So I have to decide if I'm going to like put, I like to do some of the line like a little bit inside the ears just to give it dimension. All right. So those are the ears so far. And now we can do the eyes. Put that pink over here. Save the gray. No, I can't save this gray. Oh well. Okay, that would be scrap, extra gray. Uh, sorry, I was not looking at chat like this whole time. We call those foil hobo meals. <laughs> My mom calls them Boy Scout treats. Oh, <laughs> made those for you to do. And we haven't even gotten to the face. Sigh. What do you mean? Am I taking too long? I told you. See, that's why intricate canes and live streams may not be a good idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so for the face. How I do it is I basically stab it. So I have to like map it out. Um, for the koala, since like the nose is so um, prominent, I'll probably start with the nose because it's like right in the middle, right? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much right in the middle. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and s literally stab a hole in what looks like to be the middle, just straight through. Okay, now I've got my hole, making sure I'm in the middle on both sides, and I totally am. All right, stop apologizing. We love you. We just want to watch more. <laughs> All things. So once I have, and this is just one of those bead tools where you stab the middle of the beads. I just, I don't make beads, so I use it to make the faces. So now I'm just kind of swirling it around to make that hole bigger and then I'll kind of like favor it to whatever shape I want and then I'm literally going to cut the face in half. I know I sound crazy right? So the koala nose is pretty it's like triangular so I'm just making that general shape making sure I'm going even on both sides all right. And I want this to be down more. There we go. 
So it's like a rounded triangle, looks like. So something like that. And I'm just gonna, it doesn't always go through like when you do the movements, it doesn't always go through to the other side. That's why I definitely flip it over to make sure my shape is on the back too. Okay. Now I made the nose. I kind of think it might need to be bigger. Hi, Roxanne. Welcome. We know, but I got a BRB back because I got to take down my backyard. You got to take down your whole backyard? <laughs> I kind of think it needs to be bigger. Don't koalas have like gigantic noses? Hey, Kerwin, bring me back that picture. Will ya? Pretty sure their noses are huge, right? How about that? That looks pretty big, right? So like, don't, don't worry about like how uneven it is because again, we're going to be cutting the face and then putting in whatever we want. So we just need to get roughly the size that we're looking for. Oh, okay. prenatal vitamins are the best vitamins. Okay. Uh, queen, okay, cool. So now the nose looks to be like a dark gray. So for the nose, I'm gonna just take a chunk of this black here and then grab just a little bit of white because it doesn't look like it's completely black. So I'm just gonna lighten it up a little. See what I'll get. She is the Link Ninja Goddess. She really is. She is on it all the time. All right, so I'm just gonna mix. It's majority black and just a tiny bit of white for the nose. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. That's what my nose looks like. <laughs> I'm a sad koala. Oh my gosh, talk about a hole in the head, right? He just, he got in a fight, y'all. Oh no. Koalas have huge claws, believe me. I've held one, they are so cute, but painful to hold. Ugh, I bet. Okay, so I'm just mixing these two colors and I'm getting a dark gray. Hi Mickey, welcome back. All we did so far is stab a hole in our koala's face. <laughs> oh gosh, I sound so funny. Back, front, side to side. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> Same with Slavs, Care Bear. Okay, so now I got kind of this color here and that will be the nose. So now I'm just gonna make this into the shape and size that I want for the nose. So again, for the koala's nose, they look to be kind of like a triangle to me. So I just kind of rolled this into a thick snake and now I am pinching the top. Again, it's not like a straight lined triangle, just kind of rounded triangle, if you catch my drift. Okay, so we just want kind of the general shape here. Okay, and anytime you shape a strip of clay, your ends are gonna be kind of wonky. So that's why you'll see me trimming the ends often, just because I want to make sure I have, I can see what it's gonna be like. Okay. And then since the clay is warm, it kind of warps when you try to cut it. Okay, there we go. Bada beam. He was thinking that Jen, I swear, what? Oh, side front. Yep. Okay, so that looks like shape of a nose. What do you guys think? Yeah? Looks pretty even. Now we gotta make sure it's kind of proportioned to the head that we made and it appears to be and it looks like the hole we made is almost spot on so that's perfect so now since we made this hole in the middle of our koala's face hi shellies we just did like the general you know outline right so i'm actually gonna take these ears off now at least i know they're the right shape 
See, that's why I don't seal them till the end. Okay. That way, because I'm going to cut this in half, and I didn't want to have to cut the ears, too. So I'm just going to literally cut right in the middle of that hole I made. And I'm kind of rocking my knife because, again, my clay is very warm because I just, I've been working with it this whole time. So I just cut it in half, and I'm this is how I insert the little body parts of my canes. I'm going to actually round this off a little bit. There we go. Okay. Just kind of open it up. I don't think I made the nose long enough. There we go. That'll do, pig. Hi, Rebecca! Oof. Got a piece of pink in there. There we go. Okay. I know, that looks so weird, right? Okay, I'm going to round the bottom part of the nose here. Every time anybody sees me do these kinds of canes where I stab it and then I cut it in half, they're like, oh my god, all that work, oh my god. You know, but it's like the only way to like get stuff in the middle of your canes I've found safely. So now I'm going to basically shape my two halves to match what I put in there. All right. Now I'm going to make them come together. Come together. Right now. Okay. And it might look ugly a little bit at first, but keep in mind, we are going to be taking this whole lump of clay and we are going to be reducing it, right? So these little tiny areas that you see in here, as long as you're careful, don't get air bubbles in there but they disappear because when you reduce, you're squishing it together and you're making it into a smaller image. So you just, the main thing you have to worry about, making sure you know which way is up and keeping it thick and centered as best as you can. So it doesn't look like too much now. Looks like I just botched it and lost it, right? It's still there, I promise. If you watch any of the canes I've made, like character pieces or actual animals or images, by the time I'm done like shaping the cane and building it, it's pretty ugly until I get to the reducing and slicing. So just wanted to throw that out there. Don't panic. Okay, so for the koala eyes, what I did last time for the koala eyes is I just did black eyes, okay? Because what I have found, and Kari, if you've done any canes that have animals or, you know, eyes, is, like, if I do, like, the white eyes with the black dot, you know, it never comes out symmetric. Like, I don't know. They always look cross-eyed or crazy every single time. Now, if, like, I, I'm just adding eyes, like, sculpting eyes, I can get them centered and it's fine. I just can never get eyes to last through... <laughs> the reducing process. So I have resulted to just trying to do black dots for eyes. Um, I don't know, I probably just need more practice on the the eye part, like the white eye with, you know, the black pupil. I can't do all that jazz. Maybe someday, and today's not that day though. I have held a koala too, not me. Okay, so now I wanna see if I can get kind of the right size. That needs to be bigger. I need some more. Oh, bye, Valerie. Shawana. Make way, make way. Oh my god, I thought that was just me. Oh, no, 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 it's totally me. Like, oh gosh, I don't have one near me, but every single time I try to do white eyes, the black pupils, they come out so messed up every single time. They just... Like, when you reduce it, like, it moves a little bit. And eyes are just one of those things where if one moves just, you know, even slightly, then your thing's going to look like it's cross-eyed or, 
I don't know. It just looks bad every single time. It's annoying. I'm feeling really cute pink and blue koala bear diamond painting. It's on my list. Ooh, I want to see it. Have you guys ever heard of the, um, well, it's not a company. It's called, what is it, Droom or something? Like J-R-O-O-M. It's like this shopping app and it's kind of like AliExpress where it's an app where you shop for things, but you're like really buying from multiple sellers. I just found out about it like the other day and I've never heard of it before. Best to keep people guessing. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Well, somebody's at our house. I just heard this big, like, car door slam. Now they know this is freaking out. Oh, goody. Zip it, Linda. <laughs> and if you guys ever wonder why I say zip it, Linda, to my animals and my children, you have to see the video that says, <laughs> like, what does he say? It's like this little kid talking to his mom, and he's like, Linda, listen. Listen, Linda. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta let Thanos out of this room. Good lord, you crabby butt. Sorry about that. Ugh. Every time somebody random comes to our house this time of night, they want to buy something that we have outside. So like my husband has his grandpa's old truck out there. And they'll come by and it's a broken down, beat up truck. Like no way it even looks like it runs. People are like, hey, you selling that truck? Hey, you selling that wagon? No. Like if we were selling it, there would be a for sale sign by it. I guarantee you that's what they're here because now they're leaving. Kerwin opened the door and they're already leaving. Hey, you selling your grass? Hey, you selling your kid? No. All right, now I'm just trying to get mm, the right proportioned eyes here. Mm, I don't know why they still look weird to me. I think they need to be bigger. Welcome back. Kick off those shoes and prop the feet up. I've seen that video so funny. He's like, Linda, look it, look it, look at Linda. Oh my God. How old would you say that kid is for real? Like he's not that old. I'm going to try to do the eyes as ovals to see if that looks like less weird. Here's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and shape the eyes and then try to add. Okay. So this is the top of the nose here. Top of the nose. So I'm just going to try to figure out, the eyes look like they're on the side of the nose. So like closer to right there. Creepy crash. No strangers at your door. They come around here all the time. Like we, we live way out in the country, like I said. So like, it's just a thing, I guess, people in the country do. <laughs> they want to buy from other people in the country. It just seems normal, I guess. Hmm. See, this is literally the hardest part for me, making sure my eyes are even. However, your initial stab doesn't have to be a perfectly even, because remember, we're gonna we're gonna stab it and then shake it, shake it, baby. Okay, now I'm going to kind of roll it here, and that just moves the clay. So we're gonna do kind of the same thing. We're going to make the shapes that we want. I kind of think they should be oval, maybe. Nah, I like round. And then we're going to cut it across and then insert whatever it is that we're doing. That is by far how I have found the easiest way to make these kinds of canes. Okay, so that looks pretty. What do you think? That's a good size for the eyes, right? That's what I'm thinking. Then he's sleeping. Okay, I'm gonna make him just a little bit bigger so I don't lose it. 
Listen, Crash by Nora. <laughs> God. <sighs> that girl. Okay, now I'm just going to cut this straight down the middle of those two eyes I made. All right. I have to rock it because the clay is warm. All right. So now you can see where we stabbed it, right? But it kind of like goes off center or, you know, on the back, it's just not as prominent. So I'm just taking that same tool and making that line all the way, you know, so that it looks even throughout the whole cane. So I'm just re-rounding it off here. This is the top. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. Same with resin, getting the eyes is ugh, right? Because my gosh, if you're making like an animal or something and your eyes are off or <laughs> you don't do them even, it just, it seriously throws off the whole thing, doesn't it? Like, ugh. Okay, I gotta make that a bit smaller. And like figuring out what size to make the eyes is really hard to people just don't do that in my neck of the woods i walk out with a gun and say you see that sign it says no trespassing oh yeah we should probably start doing that because people are weirdos you know okay that looks good to me and we're gonna keep the top rounded because again once we put what we want on here we're basically gonna put the head back together again okay so I'm going to trim this off. Where's my knife? Oh, I found it. I'm going to trim that off to be the same thickness as my cane here. There we go. Keep it rounded. Cut off that. There we go. All right. I'm going to stick to that one. Right there. All the way down. And then trim it up the same exact way. Whew. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of people. All right, Ashley, I'm going to take a shower. Have a good rest of your night, sweetie. Okay, see ya. Thank you. Please help me. Help me put my head back together. <laughs> I'm on my way. Odd but nice, are you going to be naming this koala? I need to make these a little bit larger to fit. So what was that unicorn's name? Do you remember the first cane I ever made? It was a unicorn. Like one of the hardest canes ever imaginable. I think we named her Felicity, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was Felicity. And I have absolutely no idea why I named her that. Or maybe it was somebody else who named her Hale. I don't remember. We're just going to put it back together the same way we cut it. See how it just kind of goes together like a puzzle? Ugh. All right. Now I'm just going to kind of smush it here to make sure it does not come apart. And I'm just going to roll it right there to make sure... All those spaces are filled and it doesn't come apart. All right. So now at this point we can decide, should we have a koala mouth? And those are kind of hard to do because like there's not a lot of space at the bottom here. And so to do it, I would probably do a line down and then a smile, right? It's, that's just a risky move because it's just another one of those things that can really become off center and you have to get it just right in order for it to look okay. And I don't think I left enough space down there to do it. So I think we're going to have to do it without a mouth, unfortunately, because I really don't think I can fit one in there. It would be tiny. I think it would be like 
Ugh. Yeah, there's just not enough room. I don't know. What do you guys think? You think it's okay without a mouth? Or do you think the mouth would really make a difference? Frog Pond said mouth not needed. Okay, cool, because it's just, again, really risky. If that if that's like one of those things that are off-centered, it really screws up your whole cane. Like, bad. Woo! Risky business, Barbara. Just to let you know, I don't see Becky's live. She doesn't have one set up. Oh my god, Jeremy, thank you so much. That makes, I feel so bad every time I go over into her lives because I seriously, I swear I never ever do it on purpose. I, I really don't. And so I try to get through these as soon as possible. And I don't know, I just, I just would not do that to her on purpose, okay? But when I know she's not going live, I just, I feel way better about it. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure the gaps are closed here. Okay, make sure you center, because I'm about to add on the ears. Cute nose! Oh, thanks! Okay, so this will be the ears. So this will kind of be how he turns up before he's reduced. So like I said, when I make canes like this, I like to outline them. Meaning like, um, after we build the cane, we fill it with the background but I like to outline it in a dark color first. So when you reduce it, you can still like, I don't know, it just makes it pop more. So I think for this one, I could either outline with oh, like a dark brown or I'm kind of thinking with black. It just has to be like darker than the outside. You know what I mean? Uh, you did that oh so cute nose on my koala pan hey care bear is there a mouth on your koala because i don't remember now i was wondering if i put a mouth on that other one i couldn't remember hello kitty all right i think the outline should be black right i don't even know if i have a dark brown anymore i kind of I'm worried dark brown would look really weird. And this, again, is just an outline. We're going to roll this out on the thickest setting of the pasta machine. And it's just going to be the outline before we put on the filler. I'm trying to see if I even have a dark brown. Oh, I do. I have this. Got to decide between brown or black because that's about... Ooh, the only possibilities that will make the gray pop. Gray pop! That sounds like a band. Okay, so I have this. Oh, well, these are the same brown. Okay, I have this dark brown here or black. What do you guys think for the outline? I really think black. Won't brown be weird? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an executive decision and vote black because I really don't want to take away from the gray. Executive decision time. All right, so I ha I don't have the ears attached yet because I'm going to outline the head here. And when I put the ears on, I want a little bit of the outline to go under the ears just because I like the way that looks. Dark brown would make him look like he's sitting in a tree. Yeah, but it's just a head, so just, I don't know. You make these look so easy, Crashly. <laughs> Girl, anybody can do this. You just, you build the cane, you know, use your imagination. You could even, like, add a piece of bamboo. Like, you know what, I probably could add a little bit more gray down here if I really wanted to do a mouth, you know. You just build it. So now I'm just rolling out my black here on the thickest setting. Okay, and I want my strip to be as thick as my cane is thick. Just gonna try to cut a line here. All right, try to get straight. It don't have to be perfect, man. It's just the outline. Glad you're doing. Your dad is doing okay. Oh yeah. 
That's good. Okay, so I'm just trimming up my piece here. Try to get it straight. There we go. Lydia says hello. Hi, Lydia! <laughs> Ginger, who's Ginger? Oh, Ginger's Hobby Corner. Hey! I think we already talked, but I don't know anymore. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to definitely decide where these ears are going to go. Look how much this black bleeds. Gosh! Okay, so I need to decide for sure where these ears are going to go because that will determine where I start my outline. They need to be on the sides. Koala ears are mainly, yeah, they're on the sides, kind of. Like right there. Okay. Gotta try to get them even. There we go. Okay, so I think that's pretty much where it's going to go. Hey, man, I came in here extremely early this morning. What? <laughs> Why? I'm sorry. Did I make you wait? I'm sorry. Why does this shape look funny? Okay. Uh oh Hold on. I think I'm going to get a wipe real quick. It's like with me, I don't want to go over your live. Oh, I don't. Don't ever worry about going over my lives. Like... I swear on everything I won't care ever but I know like I'm not worried about offending me because I don't get offended you know I'm gonna I gotta do my own thing I gotta do what works for me and that's just that you know working full-time three children husband works full-time I gotta go when I can go you know and I've been you know sticking with Tuesdays and Sundays I, I know that a lot of people, though, get really upset. So the only reason why I even say going over people's lives at all is because I know it upsets some people. I will tell you right now, Rivka, I am not one of those peoples. I don't care if anyone goes live on top of me. People can make their own decisions. Watch whoever you want. Whoever you don't want to or didn't watch live, go back and watch the replay. If you want to. Okay. I gotta make sure I'm center with the nose. No pressure, right? I feel like this needs to be up more. That looks good. Okay. So I wanted to do that so I can lift the ear up a little bit. And I wanted just a little bit of my black to go under the ear. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And then I wanna put it right back where I got it. Sorry, I'm not watching chat right now, so if I miss something, my bad. Okay, and we're just going to wrap it. Okay. And now for this one, I'm gonna cut my strip just a little bit over. There we go. Okay, Kerwin, I'm so sorry, no frosty tonight. We're still friends, right? <laughs> Is Kerwin still in here? Give him a smile! Dude, I really don't think I have enough room at the bottom <laughs> to give him a smile. Unfortunately. And plus, it's too late. I already outlined him. <laughs> no smile for you! But when I cut this cane into slices, like another cool part about canes, when I do cut it into slices, I can like paint on a smile if I wanted to. Or I could roll out a tiny thin snake of black. And I can put a smile on him as soon as he's on a pen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm going to trim up this extra because I made my black strip a little too thick. Which doesn't matter because usually when you reduce canes, there's waste on the ends. I'm good, Tia. Just long day. Are you ready to bling with me? Are you guys are blinging together? You're blinging together without me. That makes me feel certain kinds of ways. Uh, okay. I'm listening and playing Canasta on my phone. You're playing Canasta again? Why are these ears waking me out? Okay. Now I'm just gonna take the black 
and put it right at the bottom of the ear here and then just go about outlining it now again I don't want any of you like if you make uh, canes okay if you make canes and you're like oh the outside of it looks scary just please promise me you're not gonna like freak out because the the clay has dye in it right so every time you're touching it and moving it around it will smear okay so it it always kind of looks a little bit uglier on the outside but once we reduce this it will look completely different on the inside now my strips a little bit too not thick enough or whatever wide enough all right I'm just taking it to the end of this ear and I'm going to trim it all right I'm just gonna stretch it down here all right now since my piece got a little bit not wide enough I'm just gonna spread it out the sides here it'll be all right okay trim off this little bit of extra Ooh, I, just, I nipped his ear I'm sorry buddy did we ever name him because I feel like I need to call him by a name okay that'll be scrap and this black clay is good okay what did I miss mama Mickey hi Mistra how are you doing this evening Ooh. oh god that was almost really bad all right so now I'm gonna take this little shaper tool here and I'm going to just smooth out like where the ends of the ears are make sure that the ears are rounded all right just make sure there's no air bubbles in there and I have it even there we go okay so see how he kind of looks a little crazy mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my koala is crazy that makes me crazy unnecessary I know okay so now we have to do the filler so I have been doing translucent fillers but for this cane I really like to do a color filler because the the translucent canes are cool because you can put them on any background right but if you like a quick cane or if you're making diamond paintings is if you have a background so the background because if you have translucent clay you have to make the pen with the background and then slice and add those you know this if I did a colored background all I have to do is cut slices and add them to the pen without worrying about a background so I'm going to do a particular background for this now with my last koala pen that I made it was a blue marbled background so I think I'm gonna do a blue marbled background again how did your hubby like you sitting on him what <laughs> uh, oh thank you you think he's cute he needs a name what about Irwin so what do you guys think you think a blue marbled background pink might be cute or green oh no no green I've done so many flower pens oh <laughs> spoiler alert there's flower pens coming I kind of don't want to do <laughs> more green backgrounds I think I'll do blue let me see what I have in my scrap oh gosh not a lot Ugh. Mm. we're gonna have to make it aren't we dang it all right we might have to add some new clay to it because I don't have a lot of blue scrap so I just went into my scrap clay and found these little pieces okay so when I use the scrap pieces if it's like this where it's a bunch of mixture of colors I just kind of ball these together okay and I love caned with marbles marbled backgrounds I think they're so cool that song is a throwback for you yeah I like all music all music 
So this is just regular old scrap clay. So I'm probably gonna have to add new clay too though because I didn't have a lot of blue scrap. Uh, name him Steve. Hey Kirby, will you, there's like translucent cane scrap clay pieces in there on the tile. Could you bring that to me? I think it's the leftover of Rivka's dolphin cane. But that has some blue in it and some translucent. Would a dark green marbled background look good? So the only thing I worry about doing a dark background, like an all dark, is because the koala itself is already gray. So I think maybe a lighter colored background would, I don't know. I think we're just gonna do a mixture between <laughs> gray and dark colors. We're just gonna marble some stuff, all right? I like the name Fuzzy Wuzzy. Oh, did he have a bear? Fuzzy, oh no, he was a bear. He had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't really fuzzy, was he? Oh, what happened to Rivka? What did I miss? I just spilled Drill's sigh. Oh, don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Your husband is the peanut gallery. Oh, what did he say? Did he comment on my clang? This girl's crazy. What is she making? <laughs> oh gosh, you know how many times I get the comment? How do you have time for that? I don't have enough patience for that. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. You like doing that? Ugh, that takes too much time for me. But like, it's it's just like diamond painting. You know how many times I was told that about diamond painting? A ton. And then when people actually get to trying it, they're like, oh, it's so relaxing. Okay, so this is just from my scrap pile. So all I did was make them into snakes and now I'm just going to twist it. And this is not going to be nearly enough. I'm gonna have to definitely dip into the scrap here. I like all the colors you have mixed now. Yep, so these were just from other canes that I made. Ooh, I gotta move that before I dent them. And I just put them all in a bucket I have for scrap. And then I use that for all sorts of things. Like if I need to make just a couple pens or backgrounds for, you know, flower canes, I just get chunks of my scrap clay. <laughs> and then I do this, I roll each little chunk out into snakes. And then I just keep twisting. And again, if you want to try claying and you think it looks crazy, I just do crazy things, but anybody anybody could do marbles and it looks awesome every time i'm telling you especially when you throw in some translucent i love marbling with translucent because it adds like i don't know it almost looks like their colors are behind glass or something it's just fun oh my gosh scrap koala that's just the background that's scrap uh you mentioned scrap <laughs> no the fire coordinator to match dc painting I do all the time rip because I get random spasms in my body. Hello, Jamie. Welcome. Red and orange colors look like fire in the background. Ugh. I'm sorry. That painting makes me, <laughs> that painting makes me really sad. Okay. So what if we added, let me see what else I got. I'm going to look for a couple more blues here. So here's just one of them. So I have this little piece of green we can add up in there. Um, I don't want to add too much green though. Are there any blues? Oh, here is some turquoise. And I know I have a whole another thing of turquoise too. So we're going to take some of this. I'm just taking the rest of that piece. I'm tired. Odd but nice. Go to bed then, man. Don't make us tired too. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna grab a chunk of the translucent. All right. Um, ooh, blue sparkle. 
Dang it, I was about to be done, but then I found blue sparkle. Okay. I think that's all the background I'm gonna have. All right. So we're gonna start with this, and then if we think we need more, we'll just mix in some of that pink we got there. But again, I, I always make way more than I think is enough for the background because when you're doing a marbled background, and if you run out, it's really hard to duplicate. You know, it doesn't have to be perfectly duplicated, but if you have a certain marble like on the inside and then it changes to a different kind of marble on the outside, it just, it doesn't look, I don't know. It looks weird when you put it on a pen, okay? Been there, done that. Just worked hard, tired. Oh yeah, like you're exhausted, I got you. All right, so now I'm gonna blend these other few colors here. And then we'll have our background. Ooh, this is a long live, you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Jen said stop apologizing. But this is what happens when we make these crazy canes. Just when I did it as a premiere, I sped all the craziness up. And I made that too thin, my bad. Just going to condition it a little bit here. So it takes some time to work rest, yeah. All right. So I'm just going to roll out these other colors and try to make it the same length as my sparkle blue piece here. And we'll just kind of work them all together, you know? All right, that works. And it's just a marble, so it really doesn't have to be perfect. Ooh, yes, I remember the turquoise is hard to condition. Oh, hello, Debbie. How are you this evening? This fine, fine Tuesday. Lord, I need a drink of coffee, not like alcohol. <laughs> oh my gosh, who all is excited about the retreat that's coming up? I think I had an epiphany today about the retreat that like, oh my gosh, it's already July, August. September, October, BAM retreat. Oh my gosh. It's just coming up and I'm really excited. You need some green, I think. Well, there's green in this piece here. You can just see it because of the stupid camera. Then I got this more green. I don't know, I can add a little bit more. That is like what I do love about doing these kinds of lives <laughs> because like you all like chime in. I think you need more of this color. And it's just nice to be doing all of this work and like get inputs because sometimes you got to make decisions, you know, and it's hard when no one's right there to like, you know, what do you think? Do you like this more or this more? Mm. All right, let me see if I got any more. Green. Power of the unicorn. The sparkly horn. I have this green. Holy moly, that is one bright green oh yeah I'm almost out of green um, that's actually the only green I have green is on my to get color list I wasn't sure you weren't sure about what like if I liked that you do that I do yes like that's my favorite part about doing these as lives like, I think it's freaking awesome. Like that one live we did, gosh, how long were we working with those uh, pigmented pens? Gosh, it was like hours, it was so much fun. I will not sleep for 48 hours on our retreat. Crashly is planning pranks. I really won't do pranks because like, like I'll joke around with you all, but like in all seriousness, I will not mess with you while you're sleeping. Because I tell you what, there are a few things in life that give me super duper anxiety. And one of them is being messed with while I'm sleeping. I don't know why that's like right now, if I'm sleeping and I hear the slightest sound, I get freaked out. So like, I will not mess with anybody while they're sleeping. I'll sit here and joke around that I will, you know, but like, I won't. I have green. Hey, Kari, let me get some of that green. <laughs> of course, Kari has like 
12 packages of green in like 12 different shades. <laughs> do you still buy, are you buying yours at Hobby Lobby or do you go to that, that one store that you showed me, Kari? All right, I'm gonna marble these greens, I think, and then we'll combine. Uh, oh, nighty night, Jen Jen. Oh, let's see, I can't wait, I'm gonna be ghosting too. <laughs> I know how to tie knots. We can tie her down. No pranks. Oh my gosh. Like, please don't even tell me that you're going to mess with me while I'm sleeping because I swear I won't sleep. And you think Crashly is crazy now? And everyone says, I can't imagine a drunk Crashly. Well, you're going to see one first of all, but nothing's more abnormal than a Crashly with no sleep. That's something else, man. Notice she didn't say she wouldn't mess with you while you're awake. Oh, hell no. When you're awake, that's free game. No, I'll pull like all the pranks. I don't care. Because you guys deserve it. You're like my best friends. Kari, you should try to come to the retreat if a spot opens up. Or maybe next year. I think she said she's going to do it again. All right. And I just, I'm twisting these the same way, but I folded them in half because I made my stakes really, really thin which is probably going to cause air bubbles. We'll see. Well, occasionally Michaels, but not usually. See, I don't get clay from Michaels because they don't carry Primo, but they carry souffle, which I think is it's okay, but I don't know. When I shop for clay, I only get Primo. <laughs> but if I really need a color and like Hobby Lobby doesn't have it and Primo and I need it right then and there, my next option is souffle at Michaels. Oh, Kerwin, are you telling on her? What did he say? Don't let her fool you. She has a notebook full of prank ideas already. <laughs> no, I don't. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, so now I got this little chunk of green here. Definitely let me, if a spot opens up, I'm down. Otherwise, I'm down for next year. They have Primo. My Michaels does not carry Primo. And I was really upset because there was one point in time I was looking for a color and yeah, I went to Michael's because Hobby Lobby didn't have it. Yeah. And they didn't carry Primo. Like there was no Primo color. So I was like, what the hell? All right. Now I'm just mixing all these crazy colors together. Hopefully this is enough background G's, but these colors look pretty cool. That's like another reason why I don't mind making so much of the marbled backgrounds because anything I don't use typically make cool pins just themselves. But one kind of clay that I have to buy from like the superstore is translucent because like, oh my gosh, I use so much translucent. Like if there was a favorite kind of clay and I had to pick one, it would be translucent. Cause I just seriously love what it does. Like separates the colors and then it bakes clear. And so like if you put it on top of colors, like just like a layer of it or something or just a little bit in a marble, it just gives it this dimensional look. All right, so all I did was combine the colors here and now I'm going to be um, combining the ends and twisting a couple more times. Now when I, First, combine these snakes for the first, you know, gather and twist. I make that first one pretty thin just to spread out the colors, but then I'll stay like medium so it doesn't take so long. This is one long snake. Yay, Hobby is making shelves. Ooh, lucky. Michaels has a ton of Primo. Ah! Yeah, Hobby Lobby is the only place, like, in store that I can buy Primo. So if I need a certain color and they're out, yeah, I'm bumming. Sure am. All right, so now I'm just twisting and rolling to get it to come together. Ooh, you know what, Odd? You are so right about this green. That will look cool as a background. And since it's so long, I'm just twisting and rolling as I go. Since the actual snake piece is superly duperly long, 
And I'll kind of show you how I thicken it back up here. Who all is going? Do we even know? How many people are going? I don't even remember. That totes looks like a unicorn Tootsie Roll. Oh my gosh. It really does. Ugh. That makes me want to add some of that pink in there. But I kind of like this splash of green with the darker colors here. Like, I know the camera doesn't pick up all the colors, and I think that sucks. But, like, it looks cool. I don't know. I think it looks cool with the koala. I wake up if I hear the slightest sound. Oh my god, me too. My husband hates it. Top 10 items. Clay for making pins? Seriously, I want to know where to begin. Well, if you're talking about making pins on the retreat, I believe part of like the swag bags that she's doing for everyone is she's buying some of those Primo tester packs. So I think that she should have everything you need, you know, just to do it on the retreat. Now, if you're talking about doing this as a hobby, again, check out the links. So now to make the snake bigger, instead of rolling and pushing out, I'm simply rolling and, you know, pushing it together. Because I don't want that crazy long snake anymore. I can't wait till I get a new webcam so when I do these kinds of videos, you can see all the cool colors. I think there was 20 spots was it i don't remember there's gonna be 20 of us there oh <gasps> it's a party in the usa yeah i thought it was more but i know we're going to have fun odd are you going odd's not going is she it was buying straight from sculpey.com get the big old bricks yeah, I buy from the, like, when I need translucent, I buy from the Sculpey Superstore. Only because there I can get pound bricks. Like, the huge bricks. Like, this is all I have left of white translucent. But it's this big old brick. And I need it. Because all those flower canes, and most all my canes have a translucent background. Because then they're versatile. But this kind of cane, I I don't really care if it's versatile like remember all those elephant canes I made I wish I would have done just a background on those like a certain background color because then I can make up pins super quick with those so I'm just gonna keep twisting these until I kind of like how it's coming together hopefully this is enough Sculpey Products has the one pound bars of translucent for $12. I don't remember how much the superstore is. But there's that other store too, Kari. What was that one store? I remember I went to the website that you gave me and the first thing I saw was unicorn spit. And I was like, what the hell? It literally says unicorn spit and it's like either this dye or pigment powder. I don't remember. But I was like, uh, Kari, what is unicorn spit? And how do they get close enough to a unicorn? And how do they get it to actually spit, huh? Hmm. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, I think I'm just going to twist it one more big time. And then I think we're going to roll it out. Roll out. If I was going, I think everyone would know by now, I think. Man, I have been, like, so absent from, like, that group and stuff. Like that Facebook group and like they've done a few calls I try to make it they just I don't know Saturdays are like my busy days since I don't go anywhere during the week you know I don't know all right so now I'm gonna smush this together because I'm going to be putting it on a pasta machine and again this will be the background of the koala and this I think like in my opinion this is probably the hardest part about caning or the biggest the biggest way you could mess it up the the main thing I know I keep saying like you know it doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be perfect eh, this part kind of does because how you do your background will like directly affect 
how it comes out at the end after reducing. So all I did was kind of smush that snake. Now I need my roller. We need Marissa here to find out more. So let me go get her. Ugh. And now I'm just flattening it out so I can put it through my pasta machine. All right. I don't think I'm gonna put all of it through my pasta machine. So when I do canes like this, I I like to do one strip on the thickest setting around the whole thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna flatten it all out. Then you'll see. Beth, shiny shine, where have you been my whole life? All right, just kind of thin this out and now I'm gonna run it through the pasta machine. The end is gonna be much thicker, but I don't care. All right, so now we have this awesome looking strip. Look at it. Would you look at it? See, if I just made this into a sheet to put on a pin, it would be so pretty. All right, now I'm gonna take this colored here and I'm gonna wrap it around the outside. And I'm just gonna do one clean wrap here and then I'll kind of show you my best tips and tricks on how to do the cane filler. All right. And then I'm gonna kind of press it where it started so I know where to cut. All right, there we go. Press that out a wee bit. Okay. So, oh man, I got a lot of extra here. Lost my knife. I am just going to have, look how excited Kerwin is to see Shine. Shine, or Pej, he was seriously asking about you the other day. He's like, what's up with Beth? I miss her. Are you guys mad at each other? Uh, no. We're not weirdo girls who just like <laughs> randomly get mad at each other and don't tell each other, okay? That's weird and annoying. Well, we just get busy, y'all. And people get mad if you don't, I don't know. We're just not the type girls. That's why, like, I'm kind of in love with our relationship. Ugh. All right. So I just did, on the thickest setting, one wrap around the koala. Okay? And now I'm just making sure, like, before when I wrapped it in black, that my creases are met, like, around the ears. You know, where it should be a little bit sharper. Make sure it's in all the grooves. And now this might be the part where I... I don't look at chat as much. So again, if I miss your question or comment or there's something you'd like me to see, you will just have to put it back in chat. And that would just help me a lot. All right. So now the easiest way I have found to do the outline, let me just real quick, I'm just gonna take a quick drink and catch up on chat one time before I do the outline in the background um oh thanks for throwing her shop up in there any day any time mm. ah, that spinning sounds like you're on the price is right spin that wheel with spinny sound oh this <laughs> were you were any of you in the premiere oh gosh which premiere was it oh, was it the it was the gnome off and Kerwin and I both made gnomes and then we were like doing a vote like whose gnome is better and we voice over like we recorded us making our gnomes and then we voice over each other's you know video or portion of making their gnomes and when Kerwin had to use the pasta machine he would make this sound or no when I was using the pasta machine because he was voice overing me he was like <laughs> Kerwin, come here and make that sound. What was it? Wink, wink, wink. I can't even do it. But he was voiceovering my video. So every time I would use the pasta machine, he said, wink, 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 wink. <laughs> God. I think it has to be like the funniest, funniest premiere we've ever done. A camouflage background. Really cool. Yes, but remember when you do the cane slices, what will show is this part. 
not this part this part because we this will be reduced so here's the the basics of caning right oh here comes curb <laughs> I don't think they heard it, honey. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, that wait, is. Wait, wait. I think we're good. Wait, wait. Almost done, love you. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Good lord. When these will be posted. Um, Amanda, the hope is to get these a few of these done by this weekend. So. But if you are part of Creative Craft Addictions, the Facebook group and mods, feel free to put that link in the chat. Um, I'll try to give it, I'll put every, give everyone's a heads up before they get posted. There we go. Okay. Basics of caning. When you do the background, after you have your shape and you outline it at least once, you have to decide how you want to reduce it. So mostly with canes, it's either a round snake to reduce it, like a round, I don't know, like a log, I don't know what else to call it, or you can make it into a square cane and reduce it that way. With this, I want it to be a circular cane because those are so much easier for me to reduce. <laughs> and plus they're easier for me to apply to pins. So I'm gonna make this into a round cane. So whenever you do the filler, you have to fill all these spaces up and make it into a circle. So like anything that's indented, you add more filler, add more filler, add more filler here. And then you wanna put like one last, you know, one around the whole thing. That's how you do the background to canes. And the reason why this is so important is if I didn't add enough filler here, and then I went to reduce it, this head will come together and it will look smushed. And it just, it ruins the whole thing and then you cry. That's why it's every caner's nightmare to cut through the middle after reducing. Not nightmare, it's just like, holy adrenaline, man. Please don't ruin all this clay, all that work. <laughs> I've been there with that mad shark, remember that? <laughs> um, okay, sounds good. You should know better than to open that can of worms crash. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, I sent you a message. Okay. So, some people take like chunks of the clay and then add filler. So, this time I'm just going to keep this strip. Okay. And I know that the bottom needs to come out just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to start at the ears. So, see how the ear is indented a little bit right here? Because it's like round. So, I'm going to start my filler there. But instead of just making one line, since I want there to be more clay in that particular spot, I'm going to fold opposite. No air, no air. And then go back down. So in that part that it indents, it's adding more clay there. This is the science of doing the background staccating. Definitely the part that needs the most practice, I think requires the most practice. Oh gosh. All right. And I'm going to add a little bit there. Cause again, the goal is to make this into a circle, this whole thing. Okay. So I'm just going to go around right here since this is already pretty rounded. And now on this ear, I'm going to do the same kind of motion here because I want the ears to be even after I reduce it, right? It's Christmas in July. One must maintain the shape, yes. All right, I'm gonna double it. I can't really see on that side, there we go. There we go. All right, and then I have to keep going around. Well, hold on, I'm gonna do, yeah, that'll be fine. I'll add the other one here. I'm gonna keep going around the ears here. Add a little bit. Nope, I'm gonna keep going around. All right, now I know the head needs a little bit more too because the ears, you know, come in. And so I have to build the middle of the head up. So I just do that by folding it. I got my Tina mail. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna keep folding it back and forth here, and that will build that part up. I'm just gonna go towards the end of the ears here. So you basically keep adding until you get to this circle shape. I'm gonna add until I get to the top of the ears. And again, it's okay if you make the background too thick, like that's fine. It's just, you're in trouble if you don't make it thick enough. That's when you're in trouble. All right, it's filling up these couple little gaps here. And I know the ears are gonna be they have the most potential to ruin it. So I always put more than enough on the backgrounds. Okay. Cause I get nervous. Okay, I gotta cut this and then make it thinner. So I'm just gonna put this over there. All right. So now I can kind of straighten this out here, expand it. All right, so we still need a little bit on the sides because we kind of want the circle to be as even as we can get it, okay? So we still need some right here and then we'll do one more on the total total outside. So, but I got to redo this because this ended up way too wide. So I'm just gonna stretch it here We'll be sending you 25 pink pens. Oh, yeah, you get a pen. Yeah, that's the new thing that we decided. Every 25 pins, like pink pens, that we can use to make other pens, scores you a free pen. All right, so since this is just a marbled background, I am going to fold it like this, since I just had to pull and stretch it. And then I'm gonna run it through the pasta machine. No air bubbles. All right. I got Crashly Meal. Oh, good, you got it. What'd you think of all those, Mindy? All right, I'm running it through the pasta machine on the thickest setting. All right, this is all the background we got left, y'all. So, not gonna lie, I'm a little worried I didn't make enough. All right. So we're gonna try not to go crazy overboard with this here. All right, we got two layers around the ears. Definitely don't want to lose the ears. That would be bad. All right. Want to save enough to do one on um, one strip around the whole thing, so. Just gonna cut it right there. All right, now I'm gonna go around this other ear here. That little gap. All right, so I just did two layers on the outside of the ear. No air bubbles for Crashly. Turn that off. All right. You love the polka dot one? Yay! Yes, every 25 pens. And we're going to be doing that until it gets crazy out of hand. <laughs> because like I told Corona, I was like, you know, watch, somebody's going to be sending us like 2,000 pens, man, that they've just been harboring. You know how many pens I'd have to make for them? Um, a lot. All right, I'm just kind of smooshing this together to see where else I need it. I think I made the top a little bit too thick. I'm just going to trim the top away back. Mm. 
There we go. All right, let's see if that reduced it a wee bit. Because that was a lot on the top. All right, now I'm going to try to reallocate this here. See what I mean? Like if I ran out completely, it would be so hard to kind of get the same kind of marble. Okay, that looks a wee bit better. All right. As far as the quantity of clay on both ends, it looks pretty good. So say each shipment of pens. That's a good idea. I'm just afraid somebody's gonna send me two pink pens then and then expect a free pen. Like, I just don't wanna be shooting myself in the foot, you know? Cause like, I don't mind, you know, doing a pen giveaway every so often. And I wanna say thank you to all the pens people send me, but I just don't wanna get in a position again where I have to make like 30 pins for people and I'm not listing anything on the store, you know? I gotta find the common medium or the whatever it is. Common ground. Yes, it can be blue and clear. Just the regular, you know, standard diamond painting pins. Like it doesn't matter the actual color because I'm covering them in clay anyway. Okay, and I know I want another layer down here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I want to make sure it's even about right there. All right, we're almost ready to reduce y'all. Each shipment, each shipment of pens that are 25 or more. I like that. And then it's a way to like say thank you, you know, and just don't want to shoot myself in the foot as well. All right. So now if I have enough here, I'm going to do one more little strip on the outside. Okay. So does that count for pens I already sent you? <laughs> I, I thought about that too. And I, I kept everyone's package. I've, I've had your address since you sent me the Christmas card. Just, just be on the lookout for me, okay? I have to, first things first, I've got to get some stuff posted in my shop because I feel like I'm letting some people down in our shop. We haven't had a sale in the shop in, oh gosh, like a week, which is very unusual for us, I'll just say. But I think it's, you know, we're, we're not posting as much because I'm just trying to catch up on you know, life and custom orders I had to do and just is what it is. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Hey, Aiden again. How was dinner? Yeah, we made this into like a super long live, okay? All right, so I'm just going around the outside. Ugh, this is too thick. Dang it. I'm gonna have to trim this. Oh, doo doo. There we go. That'll do, pig. But, like, one thing I will tell you is I can't do custom orders for every single one. That would be absolutely insane. So, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll make up a few pens and let, you know, whoever's first to send them, you know, pick from what I have. But, I don't know. If, if you request, like, a marbled pen of, like, you know, two to three colors, I can do that. But... Like, if you're wanting a huge cane like this, I can't do that for every single person. That would be insane. This is a Thanos hair. Aiden, how was dinner? So I would love one. It does fit Australia. Yeah, like I said, I will give everyone a heads up before these are listed on Etsy. Because like I said, the last couple of koala pins listed. Whew. Gosh, yeah, I think that we sold, how many did we list? I think it was like three or four. I don't remember. But they all sold out within 10 minutes. And then I kept getting messages like, hey, I want more koala pins. And last time I made this koala cane, it was not nearly this large. So I was like, man, I'll remake this in a live, and I'm making it big, because everybody wants them. All right, now I'm just kind of smoothing out that piece there. 
All right. Now we're just gonna put this back in the scrap. How's Thanks doing? Oh, Thanos, he's doing good. He actually, like, um, I don't know, got into something. He has this weird scab on the top of his nose, and we don't really know what it is. It came out of nowhere, and then, like, the next day or two, he has, like, three more scabs on the side of his nose. We think that he got into some, I don't know, poison plant, or I don't know what it is. That's what I was doing, custom orders for each and somebody would send me pins, but I started having them pick out what's available. Yeah, because custom orders, they're, they're hard to do. And plus, if somebody's like, hey, can you try to make me this for this? We're like, sure, of course I can. But then if it doesn't work out, then you got to try again. And then it just, I don't know, it's just, it's time consuming. Again, I'm not complaining. I'm not like, you know, whining, eh, my life's so hard, I have custom orders. No, it's not, it's not about that. It's just about being able to keep up with demand of everyone. You know what I mean? I'm joking, sister. I sent you this to help you out. Jerbear, you have stuff coming, okay? I just, I can't tell you when, but one of these days you're going to be super surprised. Okay, so again, don't worry about the inside looking all funky, okay? The clay smeared, okay? Don't panic. So now we're going to reduce it. So you can see how thick it is. It's about, it's about an inch thick. So to reduce this giant log, I'm just gonna kind of squeeze it into a circle with my hand like this, okay? I'm bunching it all together and removing all the air that could possibly be in the center. Have you thought of marbling brown and white and blue together? I have not done that. I don't think I've ever marbled brown together, actually. How much loss will you have on your ends with reducing. I'm surprised your clay is moving so well. It's so hot here, I had to put it all away. So, <laughs> if I use any other type of clay other than Primo, it's way, <laughs> either way too soft and it all like blobs together, or I can't get it to move at all. But I've been working at this particular cane for, what, two hours now? <laughs> so my clay is just really warm. So I'm just kind of spinning it and like squeezing it out. So like now I'm, I'm a quite a bit thicker than an inch. Just gonna roll it, flatten it out. I'm gonna keep doing it. But like when I squeeze, I'm favoring the middle because this is another part <laughs> that can make it or break it with these canes is the reducing. But in my opinion, it's like the funnest part. You just have to be careful like what's happening here is we're making it this whole round thing smaller but all of the clay on the inside is moving with it so if you end up having some clay that doesn't move with it or if it gets lopsided or something it can affect how the end is like when you cut in the middle uh, what was Terry Lynn's idea? I missed it. And I got to keep this moving. <laughs> Terry Lynn, what was your idea? So I'm just pinching out. This part takes a minute. He stuck his nose in a hole too small for him multiple times. I don't know what he did. Like, we literally saw it the other day. And I was like, what is on the top of your nose? And, and it was just like red. Well, then it scabbed. So then, like, a few days went past. I didn't really think anything of it. I just figured he got... No, we thought he got stung by a bee because it looked like a big sting. And... But then a few days passed, and then I noticed there's, like, two more bumps on, like, where his whiskers are, like, on the side of his nose. So I was like, what on earth? Maybe he got stung multiple times. <laughs> but then they, like, scabbed, and they're all, like... I don't know. It just looks really gross. It doesn't look just like a sting, I'll say that. So, I don't know, we googled it and... I mean, I guess it can be a few numbers of things. We're just gonna have to probably end up taking him to the vet. I don't know. I just want pigment textured pants. <laughs> have you gotten any thousand sub celebration ideas yet? I'm trying to think of like a challenge I can do, Aiden. I was thinking like, 
the ice bucket challenge. Like if people, once I hit a thousand, I'll let Kerwin dump a giant bucket of ice water on my head. But then Kerwin's like, oh my God, that's so old news. So I guess I won't do that. I don't know. I'm thinking. Even my sermon is literally melting together here. You know how firm that is. Yes, I do. I think the heat and humidity are just telling me to wait until October. Like one thing that, it, like this black right here, this Primo black, I don't know if you can, if the camera p is picking up how like oily it is and stuff. So like if I have to have a clean sheet or something that requires, I don't know, precise cling with that since it's so oily, I, I put down like a piece of regular printer paper and it soaks up some of the oils and it just in turn makes it more stiff. So you could try that or you could maybe stick it in the refrigerator for a little bit. But like that's what's hard about this because like if the outside of their cane moves more than the inside, you're gonna end up with a ton of wastage. Like the goal here is to make it all move together as one. That's the goal. Oh, have fun, Rev. See ya. I'm working on making a black and white checkerboard background with red roses all over my pens. Ooh. Black and white checkerboard background. That would be super pretty. That would look really cool with roses too. That's what she said. <laughs> I forgot what I even said. Oh, what did I said that like that needed that that's what she said. Now I gotta, I'm gonna have to rewatch this unless somebody remembers. Or you want it to move with it? Is that what it was? That is a good one. Oh, mom, I've taught you so well. Aiden, why do you keep telling people to drink mustard? That's disgusting. Okay, so see, it takes a little bit in the ends, you know, who was that one who was talking about Sermon K or Sermon, Sir whatever it's called? Uh, but she's obviously a Claire too. So <laughs> she can probably vouch for this. Your ends will always look wonky. Okay. That's why you can't judge it by what the ends look like. Okay. Cause the reality is the outside just moves a little bit more than the inside. Okay. So again, don't panic. Just make sure there's no big lumps in the middle here. Just squeeze it and go slow. But you'll always have like extras when you can. I mean, it's just how it is. I have an idea. What is your idea? Oh, I'm not going to eat mustard. No, that's disgusting. Like there's only one type of challenge that I won't do. And that is eat nasty stuff. And I said that. And then <laughs> the one time I did, Pippa made me freaking eat Vegemite. It was disgusting. All right, now I'm getting it to move. Whoop, whoop. See, eventually when you get it down to a certain size, it gets much easier to get it to move. You just don't want to get ahead of yourself. And you can do it this way, but that's why it's, when you're doing the filler, it's so important to keep filling until you get it into the shape that you want to reduce it in. See, like I'm, I'm losing my, my image here. <laughs> He's just a little stuck up. Something stinks. Ew, what's that smell? <laughs> Kirby the koala! No, we're not naming this koala after my husband, okay. I've tried the refrigerator and then the clay gets sweaty, ew. Yeah, the printer paper might, I think that would do you justice a little bit. I mean, like the only thing I've run into with the printer paper is if you leave it too long, gosh, the clay almost gets like flaky. Like if you Google it, you know, like how to, what to do with oily clay. Like most of the ones I read said to leave it, you know, in a book, you know, with two pieces of printer paper and put something heavy on top of it, like the piece of clay and then leave it for 24 hours. But I swear if I leave it there, like in between a book, you know, with printer paper on both sides for more than an hour, my clay gets all crumbly and I don't like it. I found like 10 minutes max. It absorbs the oil on the surface, but it doesn't absorb all of the oil because I don't want it to be all flaky, you know? What kind of canes do you like doing? Who has that? 
Every time I look up to see your name, it, it leaves me. Jamie, what kind of uh, canes do you usually make? How about Kirby the koala? Ooh, I like that too. Open peanuts with your head. Well, that doesn't sound cool at all. She hits a thousand subscriber. She will eat two pickles. Oh, hell no. I won't eat disgusting things and pickles are disgusting. All right, we're getting somewhere, y'all. We're at like three inches. But again, our ends are totally gone. But that's okay. I'm continually checking the middle, making sure there's no lumps. Because if there was a big old lump, that means, I don't know, some of the center didn't move with it very well. But see, as I'm kind of flattening these out and spinning it, I'm pushing the outside to the edge. That's why you have extras every single time. So I just kind of keep rolling it. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep, keep rolling, rolling. Yeah, sorry about that. Crashly has to have a song for everything, right? Ta 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 tia! Um, Crashly, use it in the sen use it in a sentence. My mom keeps saying your voice sounds so familiar. I refuse to clue her in. Bofum? Oh, bofum! Like, you know, I could really use, I use this tool a lot and I use this tool a lot, but to be honest, to be successful in clay, you need both of them. You need both of them. How is that, Tia? That was pretty good, right? <laughs> Don't diss the pickles, Crashly. You know, we all have our thing, okay? We all have our thing, pickles. Ugh, not my thing. All right, so I am getting quite a bit of wastage on the end. I might end up trimming some of that up. Lip biscuit, oh my gosh, you knew that, that's so funny. Canola, I thought you were about to say Corona the Koala. Too soon, Aiden, too soon. <laughs> All right, let me just trim up these ends a little bit. Not going too far in because I know I'm gonna have to trim the ends again. Just a wee bit because it's messing up a roll. So see, I have quite a bit of wastage with this. I didn't waste any time before I started reducing it. But wastage is not one thing that I will ever mind. Because as you can see, I keep all my scrap clay. All of it. And you can just grab a you know couple pieces here and just marble it. She is laughing, Ashley. She got it. Oh, that crashly. Tia, give me another one. I'll make another sentence. I'm trying to remember our live. You guys want to see something entertaining, man. Go to my channel. Go to the playlist. Find the Sunday social playlist. Look for the one with Tia. She gave me like 10 of these things. Like, like both of them. And I had to like use them in a sentence, you know? An amazing fairy gnome house for mom for Christmas. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. See, I have not been brave enough to really get into sculpting. I don't know, it just, it really makes me nervous. And plus I don't know what I would do if I sculpted something, I don't know. But a fairy house, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Jamie, Fiona Abel Smith is like my hero. Like, I was watching one of her videos, one of her kaleidoscope ones, and you know, her voice, her voice sounds like this, you know, and it's really soothing, and she's very detailed when she explains what she's doing. And I was watching one of her videos once, and Kerwin, my husband, was like, why is Fiona always whispering? <laughs> and I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> because she does talk like this. She said that was Borax. Oh, jeez. She is soothing. Like, my gosh, she's her voice is like a lullaby to me. And I like Jessima too. But Fiona, like, oh my god, I just I just love that woman. Okay, so for this live, I think this is about as far down as I'm going to go. Now, did you guys I know this has been a long live. So I'm going to let you all choose. 
I can take half of this down to be even smaller and actually apply it to a pen if you would like to see how I do that. You know, assuming I, I don't cut into it and it looks awful. But if it's okay, would you guys like to see me put it on a pen? Or have you seen that enough times in all my other polymer clay <laughs> tutorials? If you want to see it put on a pen, just let me know. I'll let you pick. I followed a Fiona Abel Smith tutorial. Oh yeah, you show me that. Uh, a fairy house, please. Oh my gosh, Mindy, I wouldn't even know where to start. Hi, Diamond Queen 2020. You should shoot clay with a... What are you talking about? This is how she talks. I'm Fiona Abel Smith. I'm part of the Polymer Clay Guild. And this is what we're going to do today. And you'll need your piece of papers with the graph paper printed on it. And yes, I'm just going to... That was probably a bad impression. None of that was meant to be, like, mean at all. Okay. So I'm going to cut it here because I want... I always keep half of my canes larger and then reduce the other half to smaller. You want to see it? Okay, we will do a pen. Okay, this is the part that's like holy anxiety. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it right in the middle because that's what the image should look like. So since it's all warm, I am going to be rocking it. And this is the moment of truth. There he is! The nose kind of came out weird, but that's okay. Once it's in slices, it'll look fine. There's the koala! But see, I have I can get so many slices out of this. I want to see the whole process. A whole process of what? Of the caning? Boy, I'll tell you what. Man. I'll tell you what, I just went through the whole caning process in this whole life, and I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm not supposed to say sorry anymore. But that's why this was so long. Take my koala! Yes. What, what was that name someone said? Somebody just said a really cute one, and I forgot. Okay, so this half I'm going to take down even further. Because when I put it on a pen... I can't add giant slices like that. So I gotta take this down a wee bit further. I think if I were to change anything, I would have made it a darker gray. Yeah, nose looks a little funky. Fiona the koala. Oh my gosh, should we name this koala after Fiona Abel Smith? <laughs> this is the Polymer Clay Guild, and we are making today Fiona the koala. Indigenous to Australia climate, where it is humid all day, relaxes in the trees, while it eats bamboo, and sings songs all day to the butterflies. Kirby the koala, I think that's the one that I saw there, that was so cute. And just taking it down more and more. Because put them on the pen, you gotta think. Polymer, or the um, diamond painting pens, they're not super thick, right? <laughs> so that's why designs and canes can't be too intricate because they gotta be tiny to even go on the, you know, pen in the first place. So let me just cut this one in half now. Alright. So now we have Widow Koala. Oh, look at you. It looks like Fiona the koala. It's Fiona. I don't know if you guys can see it. Eh? Eh? Alright. Well, it's there, okay? Uh, I'm back. I have a name. What is it? Take off that end there. I'm going to trim up this end. How much did I lose there? Oh, not too much. Hey. Alright. Okay, let me get rid of this, and then I need to go get a pen. Ugh. One second, y'all. Ugh. There we go. These are long ones. Ugh. Come on. I gotta remove all the tips of them now. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna grab all these. 
So one thing I wanted to show you, those are all the same things. Dang it, this one longer. So I don't know if any of you have noticed, but pink pens can come in different sizes, okay? So like, look, these are all on the same level. They come in different sizes, I'm telling you. So just wanted to point that out. So when you put these on the actual pink pens, I always go with the longer ones because everyone likes longer pens, you know? <laughs> but just something to look out for when you're making them. Hi, babe. Ooh. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm finishing this up. We're almost done. Okay. So all I did here... I mean, do you guys need to see how I removed it? I probably should show you that too. So this is like a standard diamond painting pen. And they come with a multi-placer. I'm sure we all know the multi-placer comes off very easily, right? Um, hold on, let me see if there's any questions here. Yes, Fiona, I love it. Oh, Jamie, did you like my Fiona Abel Smith impression? <laughs> I think I nailed it. Um, okay, Valerie, your froggy sounds soothing. That froggy over there, I'm telling you, we haven't heard a peep out of him until the sun goes down and he's like right outside that window every single night. Never fails. What was the name your mom wanted to name you crashly? It's Kayla. She wanted to name me Kayla. Her mom was so, my mom is a hoot. Uh, wasn't it Kaylee? It was Kayla, yeah. Okay, so to remove this tip, the single place is a little bit harder to remove, but you just, you have to just show it who's boss. Rock it back and forth and it just, it comes out. Okay, it's like not super hard to do. And then the multi-placers, um, I'm sure we all know, the multi-placers just come right out, right? You don't need to see that. Okay, so now this is just a standard pink pen. This is the longer pink pen. What was that? Hold on, now I need a drink of coffee. Hold on. Wanna... Okay, so now when I do pens that need a background and I have to use my translucent background canes, I have to make sure my cane slices with translucent backgrounds are paper, like paper, paper thin, or else the translucent does not come out clear. So what makes these kinds of pens so much easier to deal with is these do not have to be paper thin. You actually kind of want them to be a little bit thick. So I usually go about like this thick. And then what we're gonna do is basically put these all over the pen. So they're not too crazy thick but they are definitely not paper thin. Let's do that right now. Can you make a tall Koala DP pen and a matching DP mini pen? I could absolutely do that. All mini pens are is taking an X-Acto knife, cutting it wherever, however long you want it to be. So totally, it's just whatever shape of the mini pen you want, you know, would be the only hindering factor <laughs> but I've done different shaped pens before but it would just kind of depend on what you're wanting okay so I was gonna use this one wasn't I a tree I've made a tree pen before okay so with these little slices we just add these all throughout the pen so I start towards the top here and then again, you can manipulate the image a little bit. So like when you add it, if the head comes out a little bit, I don't know, not rounded, you can manipulate it since the slices are thicker. Okay. Then we're gonna take another slice here and we're gonna butt it up against the previous slice. Butt it up against the edges here. Might need to move this one up a little bit. See how this leg or this head kind of came a little not so rounded? It's okay because we can move the image. That's what's cool about these canes. 
Okay, I do need to make these a little bit more round because it's so warm that when I cut it, my slices here aren't round anymore. Like usually I'll let these canes sit for like 24 hours or so. Or I'll stick them in the fridge for a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm just making sure I'm just butting this like in between the previous two. Okay. Then you basically just do that throughout the whole pin. And so these I'm just kind of smushing them back together to try to get them rounded. Because when I cut it, it just made it, it just bent it a wee bit. I ain't scared. You scared? I ain't scared. Shoot. So we're just buttoning it up against each other here. I'm saying this part, it's a little time consuming, but so much easier than putting together a background, putting that on a pin, and then worrying about cutting paper thin slices. Like they gotta be paper thin slices. Like all those flower pins I make, they have translucent backgrounds instead of the color. Has to be paper thin. Kerwin actually just brought me the tray of flower pins. Do you guys want to see a little sneak peek of the flower ones coming? It's a little perk of coming to the live and staying this. How long have we been going? Three hours now? Four hours? I don't know. So we're just butting them against each other here. Oh, this pin would look so amazing. That was so sweet, bro. Alright. This is so warm, you guys. Ugh, okay. Just butting it against each other. And you do want to make sure it's it's butting against like the previous one. Because what we're going to do is we're going to be rolling this in our hands and all those little cracks will come together. So if there's too much space, whenever you start rolling it, it will distort it. So you really do want them to be like right next to each other. Like in touching on the sides and on the top here. Well, this one I kind of screwed up, jeez. There we go. Flowers. Okay. After we do this one, I will give you a sneak peek of what's coming. Now the flower pens that I put together, I have not sanded or glazed them. So what I've been doing, cause it's a big, I think a big, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what, eight pens, three, six, no, seven, seven pens at one time. So I baked them on two, so 275 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. And then I just turned the oven off. Ooh, food. But I'm in the middle of my life and now I want to eat it. Yeah, you can let it cool for a little bit. Okay. So thanks. What'd you make me? Ooh. It's like some pasta and vegetable thing. But yeah, so I baked them for an hour and then I just, it was like last night. And then I just turned the oven off and let them cool down slowly. Because that was a lot of pens at one time. I was too worried to extend the time too much. So yeah, after this, I will definitely give you all a sneak peek. Are you using a different glaze? So I'm using a different glaze than I was when I first started making pens. Um, like, I can't remember with your flower pens. <sighs> yeah, I was still using the Sculpey Gloss Glaze. So now I'm using polyurethane. I think Kari is the one who said, switch to polyurethane because you get this gigantic bucket of it, like a huge bucket, instead of just the little bottle. And it just, it looks just as good and it lasts way longer. So if you wanted a thicker clay pen with some bumps on it, you could do a layer of the koalas. You could layer them, yeah. 
Totally. Okay, I need a couple more. Mm, not that one. Oh my god, I bake like 40 at a time. How long do you bake 40 pens for, Kari? My god! That's a lot of pens! How, what, like, what temperature do you use and for how long? That's crazy. My gosh. How long does it take you to make 40 pens, Kari? That's like, jeez, I need to step up my game. But like, these kinds of pens, I can knock out quite a bit in one day. Because so I don't have to do the background crap. And then, I swear, trying to make the paper thin slices, I have to, I waste so much of the cane because I can never get them straight. Or I do it too thick. Or something. They are smoother. Oh, the new ones are smoother than the original? Oh, that is, I've been wondering that. Okay, I'm really glad I switched then. The polyurethane's supposed to last longer too. Which I was still pretty new. Like, it was Mindy Mom here who got me into the whole flower capade. And she challenged me. And then I learned how to layer cane slices. Oh, oh that one wasn't a straight. Alright. Okay. So I only have a little bit of space at the bottom. Now I'm still going to add, I'll have to trim it, but like if I just try to reduce it like this, you have to think about where the clay, the clay's going to move, right? So if I did just like roll it like this, this whole face here would go down and get all sorts of droopy. So. I baked them for an hour at 275. You know what, Kari? That's fine with me. Do you tent them? Like, do you do a tent out of tin foil? I only do the tents for like, if I'm making round, like, I don't know, like balls of clay. <laughs> really thick pins or something. So I'm just gonna put like half of his, half of it here. See, so look at all that overhang. And I'm not too concerned about it, I'm fine. I'm going to go ahead and add this one here just to make sure I'm buttoned together. Make sure that's touching. Make sure that's touching. All right. So now all this extra, I'm not going to trim it with my roller. I'm going to trim it with my X-Acto knife like a normal person. You can kind of see where the pink pen is. Just gonna trim it off little by little. Because when I roll it, you'll have extras because we shape the ends, you know? All right. Set that over there. So yeah, I, I got one pin and I still have all of this. This is like, what, three of those and all of this. So I'm gonna be able to get quite a few koala pins out of this, which is freaking awesome. So now I'm just going to make sure I got my faces even here. And then you can see there's all these gaps right on those circles that I made. Oh, yay me. <laughs> I put them on two different trays so it's not like they're a bunch together. Oh, then yeah, you're fine, girl. I mean, if I do really thick pins after I bake them and let them cool completely, I put some force and I bend them to see if they break because polymer clay is plastic based they should not break. Like they should be pretty freaking durable. Anyway, so you have all these gaps here. So now all I'm gonna do is roll it in my hand like this, okay? And I'm gonna do it kind of slowly. Like do smaller strokes, then rotate it, do smaller strokes. That's what she said, right? Or he, maybe he said that, I don't know. And I'm gonna kind of turn it what that's doing is it's pushing those 
clay slices together. I think polyurethane works better also. I've seen a video where I think it was just my show a video where time elapsed and they are like sticky and dull. Yes, yes, yeah, I like the poly. It's easier to apply too. And oh my gosh, it dries so fast. And you get so much more, you know? Like it lasts forever. All right, so see how they're starting to come together here? So now that I have these slices moving a wee bit, now I can put it on my work surface and continue rolling. But I don't want to do like super big, <laughs> I keep saying strokes. I don't know what else to call it. I don't want to roll it like a bunch all at once. I want to do the tiny motions. That way I don't get as much distortion. I just want the slices to fill those gaps in between but I want the gaps to be filled evenly. You know, so like the whole koala slice might move, but if I did it in like larger strokes, then every single slice would get all sorts of distorted and it would be awful. All right, so now we're getting it to move. So now some of the faces look a little wonky, which again, I can just easily press on it to shape it right again so easily. Like this one's a little wonky. Let's press that black up in there. All right, now I'm gonna rub this side here because I still got some gaps on that end. All right, so now the gaps are like pretty much almost gone. Just gotta move it way a bit more. I'll have to send you a pic of the trays I use. Oh, you should. I use this old metal tray, I think. At one point in time, it was part of a toaster oven. I don't know, but it's it's like the clay baking tray. Oh, I have it over there. The the flower pens are on them. Oh, I'm serious about my koala pen. My birthday is coming up, hint, hint. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, Bri Bri. You know Crash has got your back. Brian was like my first diamond painting pal ever. It's more of a rocking back and forth. Yes! It's more like rocking it back and forth until the gaps are filled. Okay, so now there are no, oh, there's a couple gaps right here. <laughs> I thought I was done. All right, let me get those out here. No gaps for me. All right, now most of the gaps are filled. So again, anywhere that the face kind of distorted or the head shape, you can just lightly take your thumb here and you can round them off again, okay? So like that face, this part of the head came down way a bit. See, I'm just lightly taking my thumb and just reshaping it. It's super duper easy, especially with warm clay, you know what I mean? But that's the only thing about doing canes like that need to be perfectly round, you know? but easy to fix, super easy to fix. Uh, I think the rest of them turned out pretty good. <laughs> okay, and I can perfect it after the live too, I guess. But yeah, it's super easy to like fix any, what's it called, cosmetic issues. The key is to butt them together and then when you roll it, you know, when you're done, roll it slowly and don't try to like speed that process up or you're going to get distortion. Thicker, not thinker. <laughs> the Dollar Tree has cookie sheets. Ooh, hey. All right, so after I have the ends all good, there's no more gaps that I can see, it's all good, then I shape the ends. So after rolling it, you're always gonna have some extra coming off the ends, okay? So like, see, you can't even really see the pink end there. So first I take my X-Acto knife here and I cut straight down and go all the way across here, all the way around, I should say, and trim off the big extra, the excess, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we are almost done here, y'all. Natty night, thanks for hanging. 
Okay, so now I like my pens to come to like a curved point on the ends. So to do that, I just hold my pen up and I take my finger and I just round off the ends here. And so that kind of takes the tip into a, you know, like a curve, kind of like a pencil. And then any clay that is now back over the tip here, I kind of push that over the edge, trim off any crazy extra. All right, and then I press it flat down. Bam, you got the pen tip. Now do the same thing for this one. Oh, this ear got kind of messy. Same thing for this side. Slightly tilted up, and I'm just rolling that end here. And then I'm going to push any extra towards the center of the tip here. Sorry, I'm not watching chat. This part takes some concentration. And we're going to pull the extra clay over the tip of the pen. Ugh, all right. Now we're gonna press it flat, give it a little spin, and then trim up anything extra that's in there because we want our tips to fit in there, right? All right. Okay, now we're gonna use these extra koala heads here to get the scrap pieces off here. All right, so that's it. <laughs> now we have a koala pen and I'll probably go back through and fix some of the little blemishes but then I put them on my little baking tray here um, which I can take I'm gonna show you the flower pens real quick anyway oh I just dropped some skewers a little hold on Ugh, I'm gonna set those over here I'll show you those in a second Okay, so this is a little metal pen that I use for baking clay. Okay, and this is just a wooden skewer. It's probably made for like shish kebabs or something, I don't know. Stick that through the middle. Make sure my oven's preheated at 275. Then I bake it just like this. So like the bottom's not touching the bottom of the pan, it's just kind of floating there. Then I'll bake it at 275 for one hour. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to set this back over here now. Mm. And then, of course, after it's baked and cooled, then I sand it. And I'm going to be making a video of how I sand the clay pens, um, which really I learned a lot of it from Kari. <laughs> but I'll make a video of what I use. But you basically use a thousand grit or higher to get that really smooth finish um, and then after you you sand it, it has to be wet dry sandpaper then you can get like a paint brush and use the polyurethane and gosh I do like five layers of it like I'll put a layer of polyurethane on which again you can go back and watch any of my polymer clay videos because I glaze them in almost every one but I put a layer on it let it dry for at least 30 minutes and then I'll do another layer let that dry and I just keep adding layers until like <laughs> I usually do like five or six. Oh good night Suzanne! Okay so I'm just now looking at chat here let me just scroll up real quick thicker slices thicker base either will work yes correct Mickey thank you so much uh, I did a, okay yeah that's good can't believe how many fireflies we have. <laughs> I love the Dragon Firefly Diamond Art Club. Ooh, that was cute! The marble made it so pretty. It really, really did. Like, see, it's not like a solid green background. It has like little, it almost looks like grass. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up. I don't know, but it looks really cool. Okay, so I know, again, this was a pretty long live, <laughs> but it was fun. What did you guys think of how the big caning processes work? What did you guys think? Was it fun, tedious, boring? What do you think? 
I'm just cleaning up some of the stuff here. Ugh, there we go. Just trying to make some room, man. I love the dragon flow. I saw it. Please agree, odd. Okay. Well, I will give you a quick sneak peek of the flower pens that are coming. Again, I just put these together last night. So these pens are not sanded or glazed. Kerwin literally just now pulled them out of the oven. They baked all night last night. And let me, again, just turn the oven off before we went to bed. And I did this live right when I got off work. So he just pulled them out for me to show. So these are not glazed or anything. So, like, here's one. And these, for the first time, I did, like, a bunch of layering. Like, a lot of layering. So it's got leaves and flowers galore. That yellow rose is the cane that I made with this, my sister. We did that a few lives ago. We got some sunflowers in there. But yeah, this one was, like, for real layered. Um... Let me go on. This one is a sunflower one. And this one, I made a mushroom came. <laughs> Mindy, this might look familiar. And I don't know what I was doing with this one. I don't really like this one that much. But this is just the yellow roses and some mushrooms. It's pretty cute, right? I don't know. See what I mean? I was like, I don't want to do an all green background again. I'm sick of, I'm sick of green pens. And then here's one with just the yellow flowers and the leaves. This one we did yellow roses and the purple flowers. Some leaves. And this we have orange and purple with the leaves. And this is another one that I layered the crap out of. This is like just a huge medley of flowers. But look what the translucent, like, the layering does. How cool is that? Yeah, I'm going to make more like this because I think it's really cool. This is the first time I'm seeing them after they bake. <gasps> That's awesome. So, yeah, these have to be sanded and glazed, and these will be going up in the shop very soon. Patreons get first dibs. But, yeah, so those are some flower ones I made. Pretty excited. I think they turned out pretty cool. All right, well, I hope that you all had fun. I know this was a really long one, but I have so many koala cane, or koala, so much koala cane that I can make like a bazillion pins out of. So keep an eye out on Creative Craft Addictions, that Facebook group. I will get a heads, give you like a heads up, like an hour or something, or 10 minutes, I don't know. Before I post them, I'll let you know. So you have like a, you know, heads up if you want to grab one. So yes. Yeah, any other questions? Or are we good? We're done? Oh, thank you, Katie. Yes, I made a mushroom cane odd. I was doing a project for someone. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what flowers and mushrooms would look like. So I just added a few slices. But this is what is so cool about canes, y'all. Like, all of these are pretty much the same flowers. with In a different order, on different pens. You know? That's what I love about canes, like with the translucent backgrounds too. They just take more time, you know? It's a garden! Yes! Excuse you, what did I do? Did I burp? I don't remember. See, I'm learning different people do their version. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm so glad you loved it. I'm glad. Oh, that makes me so happy. Love the flower pen. We want one with yellow and orange and another color too. Rose's pen. That is my dream pen. Okay, so I want one with yellow orange and another color or two of roses pen Ooh, i can work on that for you val um well you're welcome kari thanks for hanging all right everyone it's like mexican food. <laughs> god all right everyone thanks so much for watching and fyi i have a really big unboxing video coming up that's not of a diamond painting that i've been waiting for for like ever you just have to watch it. Watch out on the channel. If it's your first time, hit subscribe. And please, everyone, hit the thumbs up on your way out. But keep an eye out. There's something big coming. <laughs> Where do I send pens, Crashly? Katie, message me on Facebook Messenger um, or on Instagram. Just message me somewhere and I'll just give you my address. All right, everyone. Until next time, have a wonderful night. Thank you for hanging. Don't forget the thumbs up on your way out. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you.